as you were talking earlier, I could literally see a giant bead of sweat. Because I've got the fucking sun staring at me and we don't even fucking have the AC the on. Pri the price that we, you know. If in water spray, let's go. You know <sighs> Hello and welcome to another episode of Trash Taste. I don't know what episode number this is anymore <laughs> because it's probably going to be out of order anyway. I'm your host for today, Gant, and joining me once again are... The boys, you know who they are. What are you wearing, Gon? <laughs> I just, okay, it's 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 summer now, okay? I need to bring the summer energy, okay? I'm like channeling every like dad doing a barbecue right now. You look like if Trevor <laughs> from GTA 5 got a tan. <laughs> you look like, the, look like the dad with the one too many camera lenses. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, I don't know what he's getting up to with those lenses. You know what I mean? Ooh. Dad that goes bird watching. <laughs> yeah. play, play. Do you really need a 500 millimeter lens that's like this long? Like, is there a, come on, come on. Plays GTA Vice City once. Okay, I've, I've got Goes to now. Miami once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but uh, how are you guys in like, surviving Japanese summer. Like I'm how not. hot is it today? Jesus. It's like uh, 35, I think. Or yesterday was 35. Yeah. yeah. You know what, let me start off with something. I okay. hate it when you can't complain about the weather where you're from. It's like, you know, what? I, I said on Twitter, I was like, I can't, I'm dying, man. It's 35 degrees. And then yeah. someone replies like, <laughs> it's like 42 here. And I'm like, that is not something to be proud of. You no. live in a fucking, like I, the actual sun. I like fucking, why are you bragging? I fucking hate that shit. Like no matter how hot it is where you are and you, you could be fucking dying in the Sahara a desert or something. You get to you get to like the nearest town. You're like, fuck, man. I just survived the Sahara, and someone from Texas or somewhere and be like, oh, how hot was it? How hot was it? <laughs> you didn't measure it. You didn't measure it. Why do you measure it? Huh? Is it hotter where I am? You little bitch. No, because what I've realized, okay, I've I've like living in Japan has made me change my opinion because before, what? <laughs> okay. So before moving to Japan or before like moving out of- It's totally England, unrelated. Like, well, no, actually, <laughs> it's not totally unrelated because before moving to Japan or moving out of England, my favorite season was summer. Okay. Yeah. I was, I was the summer We've discussed kid. this in the podcast before and we were Have like- Have we? Yeah. Uh, or maybe it was just yeah. like off camera. But I think it was I remember, off camera. I remember yeah. we were like talking about, cause I think you and I both like the winter. Yeah, like yeah. much, much more. No, winter's worst season. Lots of, no, fuck off. Win winter's worst season. Maybe this should become a conversation that we have every single year, the summer turns around and everyone's gonna be like, you guys spoke about this <laughs> yeah. already. I'm like, it's in my head, shut up. <laughs> no, because like, I, I didn't realize that uh, it's like, Summer wind, uh, summers in England are actually pretty good. And that's why summer was my favorite well, season. How hot does it get in England? It's like 25 degrees okay. Celsius. That's not summer. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing, right? That's the thing. No, it's, no, it gets hotter than that, Go on. It that, gets hotter for like summer, one, week, the summer, one week. The summer before we left, right? Yeah, yeah, but that one week is pure hell because UK, we don't have air conditioning. It just doesn't exist. True. In homes. Yeah, the one time I went to the UK, I, it was during that week. It's yeah. horrible because, yeah, it's yeah. you know, at least in Japanese summer, it's like, oh shit, walking outside, fuck, this is, it, it's, it's way worse, but you can just go in any any building anywhere, and you're like, oh, cool, just instant hard. They've got hit. the they've got yeah they've got the AC running at full like full blast. Like it's, it's good. But <laughs> it's in like the UK, it's, you, the you have no escape in the UK. Yeah, it's like yeah, maybe sure. the gym has AC, the supermarket probably has it, but like that's it. Like when you go home, you're like, <laughs> put on the TV. <laughs> Ah! Yeah, because like, what do you do to cool down in the UK? Have like nine fans on you. So, so you do have fans. Yeah, but fans don't do shit. Yeah, fa fans, fans don't do shit. Fans are like- the Fans just dissipate the hot air. Fans are placebos yeah. of, of like, a, you're like, yeah, it's definitely doing something. You're like, why am I still sweating so much? Huh. Like, I It doesn't because I, it, all it is just taking the stagnant hot air and just moving it around, right? Yeah, occasionally I just like, you go up to it, you know, I put my shirt over the fan yeah. and I'm like, this is true cooling. That's, that, that's, that's the best feeling. That's the only, I, maybe it's an nostalgia. <laughs> thing for me because growing up or like spending my summers in Thailand, uh, you know, um, in Thailand, we would try to save costs as much as possible, mm. you know? So like the AC is always like the last resort. So that's like when we're literally like dying of heat stroke. Yeah. Any other time it's just like, come on, you can survive with a fan. So like I, <laughs> I spend most of my like Thailand experience being cooled down by a fan and AC was just like, okay, if we don't put the AC on, we're probably going to die here. So it's, it's I, I think that's why it's like kind of nostalgic for me. Like mm. I, I kind of like the fan like I kind of like the feeling yeah, of the fan yeah. just just on me, but I admit, like if you're not used to it, like I felt sorry when you visited you and Aki visited us in the UK because mm. you had to <laughs> you had to you had to sleep in my room and we that was like there was one fan <clears> in there that, there was a single fan in like my entire house and like Joey you can have the fan <laughs> and I was like I don't think it actually did anything it for didn't you. Do anything. <laughs> 
I was butt fucking naked in your bed. I'm like, I'm still dying. It sucks. Yeah, it, it doesn't help and it doesn't get yeah. cool during the night. It's the fan, the, yeah, I get like the whole like fan being nostalgic though. Cause like I have that exact same thing at my oh, yeah, grandma's Suffering old is nostalgic for me. No, I, at my, I love at, being at my grandma's old place in the middle of nowhere in the mountains. Yeah. yeah. We didn't have AC. It was just because the house was too big to have a single AC unit. Yeah. yeah. And like also all the doors were always open. So it was always with a fan. Yeah. But is it's nostalgic. Is it good memories though? No. <laughs> <laughs> My ten ah, years old. I love for just dying yeah, slowly. God, yeah. so I, remember, I remember the time when I almost died of heat stroke <laughs> in my grandma's house. Good times. <laughs> no, but I, like, you might be confusing nostalgic with like PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> is, is it a fine know, line? I, don't know. I, I, I like I like the feeling of I like I prefer the heat the feeling of summer over winter. Like any day of the week. I don't know. I'm just why. I'm, I'm just depressed in winter. Winter's just dep- like th- even even like dying in this heat. I still prefer what I'm experiencing now, experiencing now to winter. What what happens to you you're in the winter? Sign- Yo, what, yeah, what happens? Bro? Winter's just the worst season. It's like a fucking Game Winter's- of Thrones character right Winter- now going on about this it shit. Is, like- it is, it's <laughs> the worst season. Okay, okay, okay. You, I think it's like scientifically proven that people are less, ha- people are more happy with more sunlight, I disagree. right? I, th- I think it's literally more healthier for you to get more sunlight because you are literally happier seeing sunny, more sunlight. But there is sunlight in the winter. Yeah, there's, there's like barely any sunlight in the winter. And okay, here's here's the thing that depresses me the most, okay? Yeah. Especially if you're working a nine to five job and you have to commute to work, you wake up. It's you wake up maybe 7 a.m. or whatever. If, if you have to commute long, it's like 7, 8 a.m. Yeah. You wake up, it's dark. You go to the office at nine and it's still just like the sun's just rising. I love that. You stay- It's so fun. No. Yeah. Isn't st- it great? It feels like you beat the morning. Yeah. It's like, because yo, okay, you I'm, stay, I'm ahead of it. All you right. stay okay. inside, you stay inside literally all day. You're just in the office with artificial light. You go out, it's 5 p.m. And again, it's dark. I like that. I like the night. Well, how could, like, how like, can you not? Like how could you not want any sunshine in your life? I, I, was, I, you know, most of the time I have my curtains closed. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, it's too hot. Oh even my in my, God. even in my office now, I have them closed all the time. And like the second just, thing, every, everything's dead in the winter. There's, there's no color at all. You look outside, everything's gray, everything's drab. How can you be happy with like zero color? I don't know. I, I, just, I just think you're, a, you're a boring person. <laughs> <laughs> like, like li- literally, the only thing to look forward to in winter is Christmas. Like, I'm pretty sure I they invented shit about Christmas. I, I'm pretty sure they invented Christmas because if they didn't have Christmas, like every Everyone would just have nothing to look forward to. Objection, no, no, no. I'm from Australia. We didn't have such thing. <laughs> okay, I've never been to Australia. <laughs> no, it it's, it's like this and every, for every, me. Everyone knows that, that Christmas was invented by Coca-Cola. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. It's the same colors. Uh, you know, there, was, there was no Christmas before Coca-Cola. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I, I, you know, I don't know. It's it's fun. It's cozy. You know, you get to- it's, Yeah, it's, it's cozy. It's, you get to, also, you get the most drip in winter, you know? Like, I agree. Okay. That, you get no drip in the I, summer. I, I, right? I wouldn't be you wearing this, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be yeah. wearing this drip in the winter. Yeah. Okay. You, get the, you get the best drip and you get the best sleep. I can, yeah, the, true. Yeah, okay. oh, dude, the, sleep is clean. Yeah. Oh no, sleep, you sleep crack is- You crack the window open a little bit sometimes. It's kind of chilly. Ooh, nice. Oh, it's no. like, you're kind of like, it's kind of like just, it's not cold, but it's like a little bit like, oh, okay. Maybe I could, you know, put something light on. But the moment you hop in that bed and you put that blanket over you and you're just wrapped in a warm cocoon, there's like, I'm unstoppable. The sleep is on my side now. And you just get the best fucking sleep. True. Yeah, the mornings suck. But yeah, the mornings do but suck. But for me, all the mornings suck. <laughs> I can't wake up in the morning, so it doesn't make a fucking difference for me. Okay, the only thing I could say, I will say is that I can wear turtlenecks in the winter. Exactly. That's, that's, that's Would there be Steve hand jobs <laughs> without winter? It sucks because you, you, your options are so limited in the winter. It's like, I, you can't wear, uh, sorry, the summer. You can't wear more than one layer yeah. ever. Like. A jacket? Oh, well, that uh, that sucks. No, I love jackets. Jackets are so fun. No jeans. Hoodies are gone. Jumpers are gone. Yeah, jeans. I wear jeans still now, but I'm I'm yeah. dying. But that's because I hate shorts. But that's that's but that's why I like British summers because what I realized is that British summers is just like a comfortable like it's it's a comfortable temperature yeah. for when, most of the when, time. Pre global warming, yes, <laughs> <laughs> it was good because you know this this didn't used to happen. I, and it, it was never like this in the UK where it was yeah. that bad. I, I like, remember we we'd get, always like, complain about British summers to be like every like every British person I've met is just like oh you haven't experienced British summer. It's like really. It's it's it rains sometimes. It's cold sometimes, and I'm just like it's like it actually slaps compared to other summers. I would compared say to other places. Yeah. I would have agreed with you until like two years ago, when for some reason two years in a row we just had horrible heat waves mm. that just ruined the summer for me. Because it was always fun in the UK. The best part about it is I like it in summer when the day is hot and the night gets cool. Yeah, but yeah. in Japan it doesn't get cool. No, it night. does. No, I think really. it does. No, in compared the to like. 
compared to now, like, because, you know, it's like, what, fucking 2 p.m. right now. It is yeah. like the hottest time of the day right now, right? Yeah, yeah. But compared to that, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah carry on, carry on. I'll, 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 but compared <laughs> to that, when it's, you know, the sun finally goes down at like, what, like 8 p.m. Yeah. Maybe. And like around like nine or 10, it's like, it's pretty comfortable. That's that's the kind of weather where I'm like, okay, I'm really comfortable. I can't concentrate with it. <laughs> I can't, 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 we're, we're gonna cut. <laughs> Max! You all right? <laughs> What's wrong with you all of a sudden? I don't know guys. I just want to suddenly ride a mech and battle other people to prove that I'm the best mech of pilots ever. How can I satisfy this sudden urge, you guys? <laughs> Well, I'm glad you've asked. I've got just the thing for you, Garn. Mech Arena! It's the new casual mobile game shooter on Android and iOS. Hop in your mech, play a game or two, cause some chaos, and be out in just a few minutes. Anyone can play, and you don't need to be a pro gamer to have some fun. I've actually tried it out, and I really like the Guardian mech. You can shut down enemy abilities like shields or stuns, and it forces the enemy to completely reload their weapons. With just a push of a button, the enemy is donezo. That sounds OP as F. It sure is gone. <laughs> My favorite mech is the Panther. It has the ability called the Stasis Barrier. Put down an invincible wall that blocks enemy bullets and slows anyone that passes through it. If you like to maintain a distance and snipe down your enemies, this mech is for you. That sounds like a very cool mech. An even better gun. No. No. Karina no. sent us. What is that? A box. What are those? Well, open it up, Joey. Yeah, open it up. up. What are you waiting for? All right. First of all, we got to scan this QR code. Once you scan nice. that in, yeah. we have these character cards Ooh. right here. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, I'm in like oh, what? The, the room. <laughs> Like, <laughs> like, How did you get that? It's actually kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. So apparently there's a poster in here oh, okay. that you can also scan. Oh, Wait, where's that oh, that looks cool. That actually looks cool. Well, while you guys are doing that, let me uh, check out some of the other things inside this box. Oh my God, this thing's so heavy. So I assume this is a Mech Arena coaster. Man, that's got what? So that's, that's got some weight to it. <laughs> it's like a birthday card, but it's like, it's, it's, it's not only that, it's like a legit screen. Oh my god. It's what? like an actual tablet inside. And it just stops when you close it. Let me what? see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. <laughs> Let me see that. Right, ready for it? <laughs> That's actually so cool. Oh my god. <laughs> we have also uh, what looks like to be the Mech Arena art book or a little uh, art pamphlet that shows all of the concept art. I guess you can just keep the tablet because there's even a charger inside of yeah, it. Yeah, I think so. I think what, we, I, what I assume is the tablet. I think we just literally just got a free tablet. <laughs> oh, and by the way, that's not the coolest thing that's in here because there's also one more thing, if I can even get it out. Hell yes, get it out. We got right. a little figure. Ooh, look at that. Oh, a Mech wow. Arena figure, look at now that. Now you can finally get in the robot. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and also we've got the Mech Arena t-shirts as well. Oh yes, where's Ooh. my t-shirt? Here's some nice clean Where are Please. our t-shirts? Crew, throw us a t-shirt, a, a Mech Arena t-shirt. T-shirt. Yes. Assert dominance on the mechs with these Mech Arena t-shirts too. I'm in the Mech Arena. <laughs> Mech Arena has just launched globally. They're running a huge celebration event in game right now with loads of awesome events, as well as a great login reward program, which you definitely don't want to miss out on. It's completely free to play right now, and you can use the link in the description or scan the QR code here to get one black carbon skin, 300 A coins, 50,000 credits <gasps> to help kickstart your game. And if you're lucky, you might even get to team up with one of us and get to play a game or two together. I'm getting in the robots right now. Back to the episode. But like, I like that. I like having as much, as I said, as much sunlight as possible. And I just, I feel like the best, like my favorite time period of the entire year is about like, what's what's the word? Like dusk, summertime, yeah. when like the sun's setting, it's about 7, 8 PM and you're just yeah. watching the sunset. Man, you, you feel like a fucking anime character. Cause it's just like, <laughs> it's just, no, it's 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 that fucking scene where you just like, where the- Bullshit, you In, in the every sun. opening where like the the protagonist is watching the sunset and the wind's just blowing. How often do you, you like are not breeze? standing how, out yeah. how, how, on how, your how, fucking how, balcony being like, how, the fu how often are you nice watching sunset. the- Yeah, how often are you watching the sunset? Freaking Star Wars. <laughs> Is that so? No, yeah. sh shut the fuck up. No, it's anime. How? Shut the fuck that's up, like, That's like that Star scene Wars. on Tatooine, right? Where he's no, like watching the, the sun go down. How often? How often are you watching the sunset? Honestly, that's why I love my balcony. That's why I have a hammock out there. No, I, no, you fuck off. You're not watching the sunset every day. I'm that's not like watching the, it. I'm not watching it every day. But that's but like but like, the hottest time of the day, in my opinion, because you're getting that like direct fucking sunlight. No, the hottest time face. of the day is fucking now. I can't stand out there for it's, like it's ten hot, minutes. It's hot until the sun goes down. <laughs> like the moment the sun rises, it's the hottest time of the day. No, I'm, no, I mean, I don't know, man. I like going outside and I don't want to have to fucking, you know, shed away my life expectancy to just go outside. Yeah, I guess that's why for me in Japan, I think my favorite season is probably spring. For me, it's the autumn. Autumn? Yeah, Winter. like around like October is probably my favorite time of the year. Just because it's like, again, you have that, 
you know, variants in drip, right? You can, yeah. you can wear a jacket if it gets a little bit cold in the night, but you can take it off, you know, rock a long sleeve, right? But it's also not so cold that it's excruciating, but it's not too hot either. You know, yeah, it's, I, I it's feel kind like, of comfortable. I feel like that's Winter. the same as spring though. And I like the, I like the whole, have we talked about Hanami at all? Like the cherry blossom? I don't blossom? think so. I mean, like, so I, I, I mean, you've, you know, you, you watch anime, right? You know what cherry the blossoms cherry are. Blossoms. You know what fucking cherry blossoms I, I are. I will lie, I was slightly disappointed to find out that cherry blossoms are only around for like one week and yeah. then they fuck off. Cause I'm like, hold on, they're in all the anime all the time. What's going on with that? <laughs> Yeah, they film all the anime in the same week. <laughs> I realize yeah. it's like a cult in Japan. Like they, they're obsessed with this, the, the anime, like everything revolves. When anime's coming up, everything is anime. Yeah. Like, well, yeah. Everything has to become cherry blossom. It's like everything, everyone just joins like a well, call well, of duty. It's because there's a really like extensive history. Right, right, right. Yeah. But it's like, it's nuts. Like it's, I, I understand why it's an anime so much now, but when I got here, I'm like, wow. Literally everything is decorated like like it's a Call of Duty gun skin. It's like <laughs> like everything. Then every it doesn't matter what it is, it gets a cherry blossom skin. I mean, not yeah. gonna lie, man. Like a good it's Hanami cool. is fucking dope. It's yeah, good. yeah, but it's, it's, it's it is disappointing. It's only one week. Yeah, it's and then really what small if you're like gun. busy? You got shit going on that week. You're like, you're shit. Wait yeah, next year, right? <laughs> I I did miss Hanami this week. Yeah, this year, this year. I would. Oh, I, sorry, sorry. This I, year, I didn't yeah. do anything this year because I, I I totally forgot. I didn't know when it was coming. I, and then, I had one of the best Hanamis this year. I right, rub it in, Joey. Me, yeah. fucking hell. Because we went to fucking Hakone for it. And oh. like all along the Hakone River, it's just like yeah. rows and rows of sakura trees. Do you want to explain what Hanami, Hanami is to the viewers? Okay, so Hanami literally means flower watching yeah. in Japanese. So Ooh. it's it's basically this kind of, I wouldn't even say it's like a festival. It's more like an event that happens. Isn't it, isn't it even uh, a public holiday? No. I feel okay. like it's a mutual agreement amongst everyone to get drunk in the park. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. kind of what it Pretty is. Much. <laughs> Pretty much. But it's, the yeah, British it's, it's it. like, because the sucker are only around for about a week and some, maybe sometimes not even a week, like yeah. a couple yeah. of days, yeah. uh, people go out and like celebrate by just sitting under a tree, having a picnic under the sucker tree. Do you think it's, it's fucking great. Do you think it's worth, cause I know a lot of people who are like, I want to come to Japan during that time. Do you think it's worth coming to Japan just for it? I think, I, I think if it's the first time you come into Japan, I think it's worth. Yeah. I think now because we've lived in Japan for two years, we're kind of like, <clears throat> we're kind of like used to it, but yeah. I feel like seeing Hanami for the first time and seeing like all like the cherry blossoms just like falling off mm. the trees and you have like the ground is literally covered in cherry blossoms, yeah. like everywhere. I think that's a pretty cool like A couple of weeks feeling. definitely just nodded to you <laughs> saying that right now. Like, no, oh, it's just, like in the anime. <laughs> like you literally walk through a park and it's literally, it is literally like every fucking anime scene where like yeah. you, the fucking yeah. cherry blossoms- Yeah, the like, cherry blossoms are like everywhere. fluttering down. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> still looks dope. It looks dope yeah. as fuck. I like, I, 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 I don't know what it is in Japan that just is like so aesthetic, but it's just, it's just the perfect yeah. aesthetic. I mean, Japan kind is of, like kind of aesthetic all year round, but I'd say like the most aesthetic is probably yeah. during yeah. the soccer season. I'd, I'd say if you are gonna do it, definitely get out of Tokyo. Cause like yeah. every single Hanami place in Tokyo, like every single park that has the cherry blossom trees yeah. is just packed to shit. Rammed. Yeah. Like yeah. you, you will be like, cause we managed two years ago, we did like a small one. Yeah. And we had to get like a corner of dirt <laughs> in the park right next to the road. Yeah, yeah. Like it was the only, literally the only spot left in this Wait, massive park. Where did park. you guys go? Like Shinjuku? No, uh, no, we we're in, in uh, Saitama. Yeah, in Saitama. Oh, in Saitama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. And yeah. it was like it was rammed as well. Yeah, so yeah. it was so full. Because what what people normally do here in Japan is during the cherry blossom week or season or when they're blooming, uh, yeah. people go to the park. They get like a kind of like a picnic area, mm. um, and then they just get fucking pissed in public. Yeah. It's right. It's, it's great. I, I'd say go like when you come to Japan, definitely do like a week in Tokyo. And then if you if you you know, if it aligns with the Hanami, do mm. a week somewhere else yeah. where you can then go and celebrate the Hanami. Yeah. I feel like doing, cause you can't really explore Japan in one week. I don't think. No, no. you can't. You can't I mean, even explore Tokyo in one week. Yeah, yeah true. I feel I've, I've been here for like two years now and I've barely explored Japan. <laughs> <laughs> How's Hanami in like Hakone you said? Oh, I mean, it's great because it's like, I mean, Hakone is still, you know, very much a tourist mm. destination, yeah, 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 but yeah. I mean, compared to like <clears throat> Shinjuku, go in or like Yoyogi Park. It's like- Yeah, you don't get any space at all. No, absolutely no space at all. And I mean, like, I, I guess as well, like in Hakone and a lot of places in Hakone, they've definitely like positioned a lot of like uh, onsens and like ryokans and stuff like that yeah. mm. around the Sakura and yeah. like around all the aesthetic parts of Hakone. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it was great. I mean, like we, we stayed in like a, an Airbnb that was overlooking uh, like a bunch of like Sakura trees on the lake. And yeah. in the distance you could see That's Mount cool. Fuji. And it was like the most like aesthetic fucking Hanami that I ever had. And I was like, 
you know what? It's it's kind of worth to go all the way out there sometimes to just like get a little bit of peace of mind, right? Because otherwise yeah. it's just be like, you'd be rubbing shoulders with the person next to you being like, look at look at the pedal over there. Oh my God, yeah. No, it, it wasn't the people, it was like the fucking kids running around. I mean like yeah. getting pissed is great. Getting pissed with like a bunch of like five, six year olds running around you, like playing football or whatever. True, it's, true. <laughs> it's, it's not exactly like the best kind of vibes to get pissed yeah. drunk. Mm. If you're sitting like where I am now, you are probably like this close to someone as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Someone else is like, Mat and picnic set. Well, you say you stayed in an Airbnb. Have you stayed in many Airbnbs in Japan? Um, not really. Yeah. I mean, cause like 90% of them got fucking axed. Yeah, so for the Olympics, uh, the Japanese government changed the the rules around mm. Airbnbs, basically just gutting them yep. and making yeah. it so that you had to make it, you had to follow a lot of, but they basically made it so you had to follow hotel rules. Like mm. you had to have like the fire escape and like the floor lit up to the-, to yeah. the It's, they, they made it, they basically made the rules impossible on purpose where you couldn't turn a profit like yeah. reasonably. Bas basically, cause I have stayed in an Airbnb. Yeah, I stayed in one as well the first time I visited and it was yeah. super cheap. You mm. get like, what do we get? Me and Alan got the Airbnb for what? like. It was really cheap, like 150 bucks. Yeah, but it was like a really, really small room, I remember. But it was right in Shinokobo. <laughs> oh, remember? Was, was that the one? Yeah, it was the That Shinok was the one I got really sick in. <laughs> <laughs> what were you threw up in? <laughs> what I want to know. Okay, so this was like, I think the first time you'd been to Japan. That was my right? very first time. Your very first like time. Almost and three years I ago, was I so think. confused. I just yeah. turned up in this place. I, yeah. I had the instructions for this Airbnb that I didn't understand. I had my luggage and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah. I was so confused. <laughs> like, yeah. other and, side of the world. And of course, Connor flies over. And the fir very first thing we do uh, once Connor and Alan come over is that uh, we go to karaoke and we stay all all night. Well, no, we weren't going to, right? So what happened was is that- I took you guys to an izakaya for the first time. Oh, yeah. So I was only gonna meet, cause you guys were like, oh, we're too sleepy. You're probably just gonna go to bed. Mm. And yeah. then I think you, me and Jerry were like, well, sit. Well, I think, cause it was my first time going to Japan. I was yeah. like, <laughs> so I was, I was like, like, finally, uh, I can show this. I was like, no, no, fuck this. I'm not resting, let's go yeah, and get yeah, drinks. Yeah, yeah cause so, I was like jet lagged. And so was Connor, I think. Uh, I mean, I mean, you were jet lagged, but you were, you were running off, you were running on the excitement of, yeah. Of course, yeah. being in Japan for the first time. I was like, time. Joey, show me around. Let's go, let's yeah. go drink. <laughs> so then Joey took me to a, a, like a very, uh, like- I, I took you to a kin no kura and yeah, it was during like, the weekday where they have a hundred yen beers. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And Connor was, mine was just fucking blown. I was, I was, was like, like <laughs> a dollar? Yeah. I was like, this is insane. This is like 60p. <laughs> this is like this uni prices. <laughs> right? no, not even, uni prices don't even get this low. This is, this was insane. <laughs> Oh, this is a beer, right? Like yeah. legit, yeah, like a legit beer, yeah. <laughs> and and then, uh, yeah, we were drinking, and then while me and Joey were getting drunk, uh, yeah. I think they were gone, and uh, we we had just landed, and, and we were like, they yeah. were like, you know what? No, we don't want to miss out. So then they came and mm, started drinking, yeah. and then we went out for karaoke. Yeah, and then Joey we stayed. And we stayed. And then I, what and I got very sick. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what I want to know? <laughs> what I want to know? Because uh, I know Joey. Joey got uh, very sick, if you know what I mean. I had to stay around your place. Yeah. Um, who slept on the floor? Alan, because, Alan did. Uh, Gant's editor, and so this was. November? Yeah, no, yeah. November, yeah, yeah. No, January. <laughs> I felt so bad. It was, it was like, basically it was fucking freezing. Yeah, it was really cold. <laughs> and we had to have the AC running in the room. Problem was, is that there was a door. There was literally no room for anyone else to sleep in this room except for two people. Yeah, because um, I remember going to your place. I'm just like, how the fuck did you fit three people in here? It's literally a shoe box. Yeah, and yeah then, so basically Alan had to sacrifice his bed for me. And he slept in the and hallway. he slept on the hallway. Alan, the tallest motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. And by, by hallway, it was literally like just a single, like very, <laughs> yeah. like he it was- slept on the floor. It was like a human sized corridor. Yeah. You could not like fit anything more than just like a fucking and human it was in like, there. it was like minus five. <laughs> it was, it a was really like cold, shivering. yeah. <laughs> He was just like, like I, cause uh, I wasn't aware that Alan had, you know, given up the bed and slept wait, in the hallway. You were, you were, cause yeah. I was, just, <laughs> I was yeah. out. I was yeah. like throwing up all night. Yeah. And it wasn't until I woke up that morning and I, I kind of came to and I was like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> and then I saw Connor in his bed on the other side. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm in their Airbnb. And I, I was like, where's Alan? And then I just saw this like lump. <laughs> Yeah, in the like, hallway yeah, yeah, yeah. of like, just like, just this lump of like blankets. So cold. Yeah, yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. is that how, is he dead? <laughs> he literally slept in like he's, the uh, fucking shivering hallway he, for me. He's that one friend who's like the nicest guy when you're like sick or like when you drank too much, he's always yeah. got your back. I, yeah. I, I threw up one time and he, and even though he was drunk, he cleaned it all up and I just went back to bed. 
<laughs> that was the uh, very first, yeah, time. first time I hung out. With yeah, him. you hung yeah, out. Yeah, first with time us. I met him as well. Yeah, first yeah. time, first time, first time you guys met, right? Yeah, and he cleaned up my my me throwing up. <laughs> Absolute <laughs> chat out. What a well, that, that's chat. how I know. Like from that point onwards, I was yeah. like amazing friends with him because I was like, this guy's got my back. Yeah, <laughs> he cleaned, he cleaned. No one else will do that. For me. I would never do that for someone. I'm like, I'm I'm, I'm going back to bed. Yeah, yeah. you can yeah. deal with this tomorrow. I remember, I remember it was like kind of like a house party we had in England where yeah. we kind of like rented out an Airbnb um, and just like caught I, up with friends. Like, yeah, and, like you, and you were like the new guy. Then, yeah, I was right? like 20 as well. So I was still yeah. like, yeah, let's drink way too much. Yeah, yeah. And I remember Alan telling the story of like, I think everyone was passed out and it was just you and Alan awake and you guys was like sleeping on the sofa or something. Yeah. And then like, I think he made eye contact with you and you made eye contact with him and he just started laughing and then he just watched you. And how you just like looked at him, <laughs> laughed and just chundered <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like me. That sounds... I, I remember, cause you, 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 what was it? You made some drink with like really budget energy drink. And that's oh. like, uh, and th from that day oh, on, boost, I, boost. I, yeah, I swore never to drink budget energy drink. Even, <laughs> even energy drink is bad enough, but the budget yeah. one where it's like, 50 cents for two liters is like- What? It's, just, it's like brake fluid. Like no one, like, of course you're gonna throw up drinking that stuff. I'm, yeah. gl I'm glad I did, cause I didn't have to digest yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But, but Jesus. Okay. Yeah, we, 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 have, we have a mate from home uh, who's now, like discovered a new cocktail is what he calls it. It's not a cocktail. Mm -hmm. It's literally like, okay, tell me how disgusting this sounds. It's boost. So a boost, so a boost energy, energy so budget Red Bull, yeah. uh, boost and red wine. <laughs> oh my God. That's, oh Jesus. Does he have like a functioning like taste buds? And I'm or? just like, I thought we grew out this in university, man. That can't be Not, not even uni students stoop that low, dude. Like, I think if you did that in France, you'd be deported. Like, yes, Rick, I'm calling you out right now. It's disgusting. Stop trying to get me to vile. drink it. That's so vile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, what would I even taste? Like, could you even taste the energy drink at that point? Cause I, red, the, the, the flavor of red wine is so overpowering. I, I feel know. there's some I things where even if even if that tasted amazing, I'm like, no, this is this <laughs> morally is, wrong. This is too broke for me. <laughs> like this is so broke. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. I just don't want to partake in it. <laughs> you can be broke. Nice, nice follow up. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's not poor, it's broke, it's different. Broke is a mindset. <laughs> <laughs> poor is a life. Poverty now. and being poor is your you are that's just, your just, financial just situation. Just don't be poor. Just don't being be poor. broke is, is the mindset of like I'm gonna live like an animal. And I, you know, I don't, I don't partake in that, you know? You can be rich, but be broke at the same time. <laughs> Listen, the reason why- If you're homeless, just No, 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 that, that's poverty, God, that's different. There's okay. a difference between poverty and broke. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Big difference, God, come on. Like trying to, like, this is a different uh, trying to get me in a corner here saying being poor is bad. I yes, mean, it is gone. You want me to say? I mean, you're not doing a very good job of like, like <laughs> supporting sure, your argument. Sure. argument not my you're trying to make not my problem. It's like being like, right. oh, there's a difference between being <laughs> ugly and unattractive. No, you, <laughs> you can clearly afford red wine and you can clearly afford energy drink. Why would you mix them? That is like, that is, you're making yourself broke on, for no reason. You know? uh, is that broke? That's broke, that's broke. I don't, I don't drink energy drink period anymore. I don't know at what age it was where I was just like, man, Red Bull kind of sucks. Doesn't do anything for me anymore. Actually, yeah. you know what? I drink those, I don't know if it counts that. Is it an energy drink, the uh, or I'm on C? Uh, yeah, that's kind of weird. I, I don't know if I count that as an energy I love those things. Yeah, those. it's like a vitamin drink. It's a vitamin drink that's definitely not healthy. Uh, but it's in the same like section as like all oh, the Red you mean, Bulls and you shit. Oh, you mean the Japanese ones? Yeah, it's like a glass, it's like a glass thing. It's got a really satisfying pop. Yeah. Like uh, you pull this metal tab and it, really, yeah. a really nice pop. Oronami yeah. Shi, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, so this on screen. I don't know what- Definitely recommend. Mean. If you if you kind of like sweet drink, I, I don't know who, cause I don't really drink energy drinks, but I love this thing. Yeah. It's so tasty. I feel that works better than an energy drink. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's placebo, but yeah. I mean, it definitely tastes <clears throat> a lot better for my yeah. body than a Red Bull. That's for I, sure. I, th yeah, I, I don't think, feel awful after drinking that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's because now it's gotten to the point where if I have an energy drink is literally going to make me unable to sleep for that night. And it never used to be that way. Normally mm. I could like down five energy drinks or whatever and like be fine the night. But see, I have the opposite problem. I don't. I don't get anything from them anymore. Well, that's because you drink like fucking five cups of coffee yeah. a day. I'm not yeah, fucking maybe, surprised. Maybe. <laughs> I, I can quit any time, Can you? I can quit any time. I just don't said want. every drug ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can stop any time. Yeah. It's fine. Just replace, it, just replace coffee with energy drinks, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, just, I quit coffee. I only just drink a lot of tea when I <laughs> stop drinking them. Yeah, but tea also has caffeine. Not, in it. not yeah. that much though. Doesn't tea have more caffeine? I think I, I tea, tea like on its tea uh, without, like the tea it like itself, if you just eat tea, yeah. But oh, no, like the tea leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah but oh. because you're- tea. 
if you would just eat the tea leaves. <laughs> oh, okay. Like if you would just eat it, yeah, you'd be taking more caffeine, but no one does that. So you're- <laughs> The way you said that was so- <laughs> Eat you know tea. What I, you know what I mean? British people be like- It's not a drink, it's a meal. Yeah, eat tea. Scrumptious. Ooh. <laughs> sure, if you just like fucking just like you know, powder the coffee on your food or whatever, get a caffeine yeah, fix. True. Well, what age did you start caring about what you were putting in your body? <laughs> I mean, I still don't care too much. <laughs> what? What? Let's probably start thinking yes, about that. Do. Fuck off. Okay, I, I care when I can feel the effects. Does that does that make sense? Does that make sense? No. Yeah, okay, yeah what, I guess so. What do you mean by I'm, what? I'm, like, you mean like the immediate effects? Yeah, like if like if, oh, I have a tummy ache immediately afterwards, but I probably shouldn't put it in my body. Yeah, so like- I can just tell we're about to get on an American topic. You know, this is gonna, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like America's gonna come close I, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was about already that. thinking about Con- it. Connor was just like, <laughs> I, I feel up. it, I feel it. My, my instinct is okay, telling go me go to on, shit on, on America. Why is your brain like all the time <laughs> <still> <laughs> ready to <laughs> reel on? Like, sorry, sorry, go ahead. I'll just carry on. If it naturally goes that way, I'll naturally go that way. Okay, no, like there was a point I feel like where you could just put any shit in your body and you could just, not feel any like after effects at all. Or it would just like go away after a while. But now like I have gotten to a point where for example, I try to keep a healthy sleep schedule because mm. if I don't get a healthy sleep schedule, I just feel like shit. Well, and yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't I, I just feel like there was a point when I didn't care about a sleep schedule and it didn't matter to and like discover my- discover sleep for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> I think your sleep schedule, you know, when you've got shit to do, that's when That's it, it, right? Yeah. That's it. When you've got shit to do and you want to be productive, mm. like not like waking up late actually affects that. And I'm just yeah. like, yo, um, I never thought about this when I was a uni student because I did everything at 4 a.m. in the morning and yeah. I still got a passing grade, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's why I'm jealous of YouTubers who get canceled, you know? They just get like, they just get to take a break. They just get to like fuck off for four months. You know what I mean? Like they just can stop Benefits doing- to getting canceled, you get a sleep schedule. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like fuck off, man. You canceled him, he gets to take a four month uh, like paid vacation. His videos are still getting views. What are you on about? Like this, this man, this is gonna come back, come back in five months. David, David Dobrik got two month vacation. That's all he got. This is bullshit. Wait, so wait, what's it? What is the right amount of time for like a YouTuber cancel break? Then? I, I don't know, mate. But the more, the more, the more. When I saw David Dobrik and he came back, zero repercussions. His views came, his video that he came back with yeah. got the same amount of views. Dislikes to likes are amazing. Mm. He got amazing likes. Yeah. You know, I'm like, this man got a fucking month vacation. This is bullshit. And he got he got free articles about him. He can get verified now on Twitter. <laughs> I'm kidding. He wasn't already. As if he wasn't yeah. already. Yeah. But, but I was like, what the he fuck? He got double verified. There was, like no, no, there was like no repercussions. And I'm like, wow, what, 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 what point is it like, damn, getting canceled doesn't look too too bad right now. I mean, I, like, <laughs> don't if, ask for it. Like, if, if, if Logan Paul can literally come back from showing a dead body, I feel like anyone can come yeah. back, you know, it's, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's oh, no, kind I, of I, the truth, I, you know. I just, I just, you're yeah, like Mr. I, Anime I said just, the same thing. Oh no. Joey, oh, I can come back. Oh God, oh God, Joey. Joey finna get canceled right now. <laughs> what, for uh, telling the truth? That was, that was a joke. Joey said a joke is a joke. Please don't cancel Joey. <laughs> um, no, but I was just thinking about it because you saying that like, oh, um, I, my mom made very, many jumps in logic there. Um, was you were saying, oh yeah, well you got shit to do. But when you, mm. you know, when you, were you, as YouTubers, you always have shit to do. There's, there's no vacations. You can't just take a month off. If yeah. you, if you, P- so people take a month off for a mental health break, which is like, I say it with inverted commas because it's kind of become a cliche now, even though it's very important and YouTubers it is, it do is. fucking need it. But you know, it's sad because if you get canceled, you almost get a better vacation because there's people still talking about you while you're gone. And people like searching about you and making videos about you. Like, I know that sounds awful and you know, it's not great, but like you are still getting way more traffic yeah. Then you would be just yeah. taking a break, right? So if you do something kind of semi semi bad, you know, just something that's like, <laughs> do something light, you know, just just do something like, oh, just I don't know, just fart on a dog or something, I don't know, just so, something that's like not too, you know, bad. Fart on a dog. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What's something that you can you'll get backlash for, but isn't really that bad that you can just come back from in a month? You know what I mean? And then you'll get give like- give you a cat vodka. <laughs> yeah, I literally did that. Shit, yeah. perfectly fine. Yeah, you know? yeah. Starting to think I should get a pet. <laughs> I'm kidding, that's a joke. That's a joke. That's a joke. This is a trash taste getting cancelled speed run. Yeah. What can we get well, no, I just for? thought about it and I was like, hold on a second. All these people just get like basically paid vacation. This is bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I think it's like different severities. Yeah, the people like- that get like quite severe. Yeah, it's mm. quite bad. But I'm noticing more and more, a lot of them just. If they haven't really done anything criminal, mm-hmm. 
they just kind of like bounce back super easily. I mean, there are some people who did shoot oh, criminal. Yeah, well, that's still David, David Dobrik's right? thing was kind of criminal, to be fair, let's be honest. Yeah, it was It was kind of criminal. I mean, it's he, he put, endangered someone's life. Yeah. <laughs> came back all right yeah. with it. Like, it just amazes me. It's like, it's like a, Jesus Christ, like a cult. Yeah, but then there's like examples like EDP 455, whatever. <laughs> yeah, <but that's laughs> I think mean, he's, he's definitely yeah. not coming that back. That man is never coming <laughs> back. I mean, he's trying real hard to come <laughs> back. He, he, EDP was a YouTuber who uh, got caught trying to meet up with 14 year olds. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, Didn't and he like try to start his own website or something? Yeah, he did. Did he actually? Yeah, yeah he did. Because he, he got his YouTube banned and then uh -huh. he was like, finna go to Facebook. You know it's banned And then his Facebook, Facebook banned got you. banned. Yeah, Facebook banned him. And so he's like, finna start my own website. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying really hard, man. But yeah, the, the the main point of this whole me going on this tangent was that, uh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, as YouTubers, you don't really get a break. I know we're complaining, oh, boo hoo us. Uh, who cares? I mean, we have easy jobs, so mm -hmm. whatever. But I mean, it's, you know, we don't really get like set vacations, which sucks. Uh, mm. And I kind of miss, you know, one thing I really do miss doing is just being able to spend two weeks off, just play video games. <laughs> Just yeah. catch up with shit. Like I don't even want to go places anymore. Like I, because I travel anyway on like weekends yeah, or whatever. Yeah, I yeah. find three days here and there. And that's that's fun, but it feels like you're still doing something. Mm. But I just want that that I miss that feeling of like I'm gonna take two weeks off, catch up to all the movies, catch up to all the manga, mm -hmm. just, catch, yeah. just play all video games. You know, maybe might yeah. start Persona. Probably won't. Just buy it. Just look at it. Not, yeah, yeah. So many games. So many games. In my backlog that I just want to play. Like yeah. the new yeah. Mass Effect remaster got released, and I'm just like, I want to play that. But I'm going even, to. I haven't even played Persona Five Royal yet, and yeah. fuck it. Fuck knows where I'm going to get the time to do that. Yeah. I, yeah. I now have two wish lists. I have the wish list where I will actually use the thing and the wish list where this is just a wish list where it would be nice, but I won't use it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the canceled wish yeah, list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause like you said, you had a day the other day where you just woke up and you did nothing and it was amazing. Yeah, I right? kind of just woke up one day and I was like, well, I don't really have any like videos to work on. Mm. I don't really have any like other side projects to work on. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a power move. Yeah. Not do anything, <laughs> like not do anything with her. I didn't even like check my phone that day. I was like, not nah, phone turning off. I'm just gonna do shit around the house and just hang out. And I was yeah. like, yeah. Damn, is this what like a weekend feels for every other person? <laughs> <laughs> like I'm literally experiencing a weekend for the first time in my life. I was like, oh my God, this is, I should do this more often. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Like I, I think for us, especially the last few months have just been super fucking busy with yeah. us building this set and having to like film a bunch of episodes to get ahead. I remember we had like what like this two week period where it was like, we finished building the set yeah. and then we filmed a trash taste episode every day for like, yeah. it, it was like <laughs> we had a recording session with either trash taste or like a Netflix shoot yeah. or some kind of some kind of other live stream every day for like two weeks without any breaks on weekends yeah. or anything. That and was I, brutal. That was like, I was I was like close to burnout then. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I do film my schedule up on purpose. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm jealous of you, right? I'm jealous of you the most because yeah. you you view streaming as a downtime. Yeah. I'm just like I, 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 I wish fuck you think I that. wish my downtime could be work. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could get paid for my. Downtime. I wish I could be paid for my downtime. Yeah, I just enjoy it, and that's like people always complain at me, like, "Oh, make a stream schedule." I'm like, "Nah, bro," because I just I just do it whenever I want. But I, st I stream often, like yeah, around the same times. But people are like, you have yeah, to make why a stream do you need schedule. a stream schedule? You literally stream like what three or four times a week? Yeah, because I I, I think to myself, I most of the time whether I decide to stream is normally on the day. Mm -hmm. and that's normally like if I've worked too much or maybe I wanted to chill out, mm -hmm. you know, maybe I got too much work to do. So I don't, I don't wanna do it because the moment I commit it to a schedule is when it's work. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. If, if I say I have to stream at this day, it's work. Yeah. yeah. And then that's why I'll, I won't start having fun, so. Well, I mean, like, I guess for you, it's like good because you have that one game that you can stream, which you also just play casually. I, yeah, I think, I think when you're- cause Chess, I'm, right? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. well, it's, it's right now, but like, I'm, you know, I'm like, so, I mean, I guess talking about streams Pro after. Probably what, what, by the time this is out, you would have found out the yeah. winner of the tournament arc too, which we are currently being yeah, part of. Yeah, now. well, we, uh, cause we were recording these in advance cause uh, yeah. me and Ghana plan to go to the UK as we've mentioned. So uh, yeah, we're quite far ahead right now, but yeah, we're in the middle of the chess tournament. So we've been playing a lot of chess recently. Yeah. So I'm really enjoying. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, it is, I think when you are streaming, it is very helpful to have at least one game that you can come back to when you're like running out of ideas. I think, I think that's what I'm currently trying to find right now. Yeah. Is that one game where I'm just like- The problem, the problem is my one game that I've just played a lot. is just like not very popular. Yeah. And, when, <laughs> and whenever I play, oh, everyone, yeah. And whenever oh. I play, everyone's just like, oh, he's obviously doing this because it's a sponsored stream. And I'm just like, no, I just, just enjoy the game. No one fucking plays this game, well, but I'll, I'll play it. I did notice that when I started playing Apex, uh, because I, I, Apex is probably the game I stream, I've streamed most. 
mm-hmm. um, that my viewership was quite much considerably lower than normal. But yeah. I was like, well, no, fuck it. I like this game. I'm going to keep playing it. And then after time, it actually like went up to the point where if I stream new games now, it's normally lower than Apex. Yeah, mm. I've built up like the following. Well, I feel like you, you, got, have, to, you have to stick through. You have yeah. to stick I, I feel like you also got very lucky as well because the Apex did just have a massive boom in general yeah, yeah, because yeah. of like every VTuber under the sun. Apex playing Raid it. Shadows. Yeah, yeah Apex uh, Raid of Shadows. Yeah, yeah. 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 Raid of Shadows. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why. I, that was not even intentional. I was just yeah. playing it, and then I started seeing every VTuber playing. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See, like, that's not going to happen with my comfort game because my oh. comfort game is about 30 years old. What's your comfort game? Like, any Final Fantasy game. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm just like, like I can't, I can't, like, fucking stream Final Fantasy VI, even though it's one of my favorite games of all yeah. time, because yeah. no one's going to fucking watch it. And yeah. it sucks, you know? Well, would you even want to stream your comfort games? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I think, like, again, it, it's like Apex with Connor, where it's like, it's just a comfort game, right? Like you don't necessarily have to see it as work or like you don't have to necessarily be like entertaining and wacky and goofy and you know, try and hold an audience, right? Like you can just play a game casually as you would normally do and people would just be there to watch you play it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's different. It's it's very different to my normal streams as well. I'd say depends on the what I'm doing. Like you're a lot more quiet during your Apex stream. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, because I'm I'm focusing on the game. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's like I talk in between stuff happening. Yeah. Um. So it's yeah depends what's going on. Mm. But normally. Yeah. But that's why like I like talking to Japanese people on there. It's fun. Yeah. Like I'm trying to find more things that I want to watch. Um. That's that's like that's I I feel like I'm I'm more of like I, I like doing passive things rather than active things a lot of times in my downtime. Mm. Like the other day, uh, like a few days ago, I ended up watching all of Loki for like the, the new the new oh, Marvel series. It, yeah. it's, it's actually really fucking good. Oh, and yeah? like I don't I'm not that invested in the Marvel franchise, so I was just like, oh, I'll just put on one episode just mm, to mm. see what it's about. And I just ended up binging the entire thing. And I was just like, <laughs> this is fucking amazing. I, Cause I, it was only six episodes, but every episode is 40 minutes long. So I basically just binged an entire season of anime. Just that's that's how I think of things. You know? But it wasn't anime. But it wasn't anime. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn, how, why can't I do this with anime anymore? <laughs> Fuck yeah. man, that's, I miss that so much. So busy now where I like dread good stuff coming out. Cause I'm like, fuck, I gotta, yeah. find, I gotta find time to watch this now. See, if only you could like, watch Loki on Twitch, right? <laughs> just use that as your downtime and just, just have people just, watching just you have watch, watch parties. Yeah. Honestly, I would love to have watch parties with like different things I'm watching, yeah. but obviously DMCA shit. Yeah. Obvious, reasons, yeah. Obvious reasons, can't do that. Yeah. Um, but like, cause like I, I know Sydney, her, her downtime thing is that she watches horror movies and I don't know how she finds so many fucking horror movies to watch. I didn't know this many horror movies existed. She watches at least three new horror movies every week. Dude, like- At least. The, the, the cesspool least. of horror movies is like never ending. It's like, actually insane. I, Cause I was never, I, I'm like, I was never big into horror movies. I don't really like horror movies. Um, and I, I assume I you guys aren't big fans either because none of it showed up on our three by threes. No, I don't Like not, not a single one. There's some, there's some good ones, but it's, it's like, it's not my favorite genre. That's yeah, for sure, yeah. 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 Um, but she somehow finds so oh, many like new Huh? Shining's really good. Shining's good. I, I, I like The Shine. I like, there's only a few horror movies that I really like. Mm. Shining's one of them. I've really, cause like my my taste in horror movies is really niche, I think. Cause I like kind of left Craftian horrors. Cause mm. I don't like the usual, like, you know, jump scares, ghosts, paranormal well, stuff. That's the problem mm. is that so much horror is jump scares now. Yeah, yeah it, it is, it, it is. Cause it's cheap and mm. easy to reliable. Yeah, that's, I think that's why I'm such a big fan of like Jinji Ito and stuff yeah. like that. Cause it's, it's really like the horror that I like is really just the ones that really unsettle me. Like the but, macabre horror, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> no, I, I'm exactly like that. Like the kind of like Asian horror is like definitely mm-hmm. more my taste in horror. Cause yeah. like, again, it's like, you see like, you know, you watch one paranormal activity, you've basically seen them all. How right? the fuck did paranormal activity get so big? It's because I, Steven I, Spielberg greenlit it. <laughs> He literally, Is that like, true? Yeah. So I, I actually read up on it because I had the exact same thought. I was like, I saw fucking the trail of a paranormal activity 73. And I was like, how, yeah. why are there so many? But, but I remember when it, when it came out, I was in school and ev- everyone was like, this is the scariest movie ever. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So scary. Yeah, I know, right? And I, I was just, everyone was like shitting their pants over it. I remember because yeah. I was in university at the time. And so I was like, all right, I'll see what the hype's about because mm. uh, back then my roommates had a watch party and then we watched uh, Paranormal Activity, the first one. Mm. And I, the, 
everything, everyone was like jumping at just like the fucking closet opening. And I'm just like, I can literally see the fucking string being used to open this fucking door. How is this scary? What is going on? <laughs> one uh, remote press. <laughs> yeah. I, I watched uh, one that I thought wasn't bad. Was it The Invisible Man? It wasn't that bad, actually. Is that what it's called? Oh, The Invisible Man. Yeah, the one that. about the Invisible, invisible, invisible Man. man. <laughs> that is yeah, it. Sid, Shit. Sid Sydney showed me that one. I like that one. It was all right. Yeah, I quite like that one. Yeah. I watched it in the cinemas. Pretty good. I enjoyed that one. I like, um, I watched the other day, I finally watched, um, what is it, Hereditary? Oh. Oh, yeah. how was that one? Cause, I, I, cause I missed out on it when it first came out. So I, I kind of missed the initial hype on yeah, it because really I was good. like, eh, Western Horror, it's whatever for me. Yeah. But then I think Felix showed me Midsummer, which is done by the same guy, Ari Aster. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, this is very creepy, but also kind of cool and experimental. So I was like, yeah. all right, oh, well, I heard Hereditary was pretty good. I watched it. It's a. Uh, it's weird. I don't. I yeah. wouldn't. I almost wouldn't even call it a horror film. It's mm -hmm. like, I don't know. It's you know what it feels like. It feels like if David Lynch made a horror film. Yeah. You know. Okay. Where it's like it's it's scary, but as, it's also as, as, as we established I, I in the previous like, three by three, Joey, the big art snob. <laughs> yeah, I'm David the art Lynch. Snob. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you just, to make a good horror movie, you have to be fucked up. Yeah, well, yeah. Pretty, you'll just be completely fucked yeah. up. Yeah. To make any horror content, I feel you need to be fucked yeah. up. Maybe in some aspect. Actually, uh, me and Sydney watched. Uh, we we had uh, we had a night the other day that we just kind of like binged part of like the Final Destination series. <laughs> and the, the reason okay. for that was because I kind of I kind of remembered my very first. As a teenager, I loved those films. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember the very first time I watched Final Destination, and was it was actually in school. Right. right. Um, so I, th I think it was like, I think it was like middle school at the time. So I was like, I think around th 12, 13 years old. Mm. And I don't know if the same thing for Australia, but you know, like at the end of term in mm. school, right? It's kind of like a free for all. And the teachers, it's kind of like that period where it's like the last two classes of the year or something. Teachers just let you do, let you do whatever the fuck you want, right? Yeah. Was that true in Australia? Yeah, I, I definitely, it depends on the school, but yeah. I, yeah. I think most schools, it was kind of just like, I'm going on break in fucking three days, yeah. just whatever. Yeah, yeah, so it was just like, it's just like in the school I was in, you just had a week period where you just basically basically go to class and every teacher would put on a different film. Or just like, roll in the yeah. TV, yeah, just, right? Just roll, just roll in the TV and everyone would watch a different film. And like fucking 90% of the time, it was Shrek. It was yeah. fucking, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it was just always I was, Shrek. I was about to say, okay. we watched Shrek like, Every year, yeah, yeah, yeah. at least twice. Yeah, okay. I, 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 good, good to know that that was just a nationwide <laughs> thing. It's that time of year again. <laughs> okay, it's the like end of year. All right, I guess it's Shrek again. And I, I remember this one class. Um, one of one of my classmates brought in a DVD. Yeah. Right, because he, we were just we, uh, because the teacher would ask, "What does everyone want to watch?" And so this guy Samuel, he 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 brings out the DVD and he brings out Final Destination, and mm. he was like, "This is this is a film I think the entire class would want to watch." <laughs> and everyone's like, "Yeah." Yeah, sure. Anything. How old are you? I, th I think we were like 12 at the time. <laughs> <laughs> that is scary for I, a 12 year old. I, I, I had not heard of Final Destination at the time, right. but we we're like, yeah, sure. Like, cause like, you know, anything to get us away from Shrek or whatever, <laughs> or, or, whatever or whatever the usual films right. we were yeah, watching, yeah. right? So he was like, miss this. I, I think like the classroom would watch, would want to watch this. And nobody kind of like, opposed it so yeah. and the teacher had never heard of the film before oh my God. okay so she was That's like dangerous so she was like this boy just had this dvd on him i i, th I think he knew what he was doing right yeah and so um so the film starts off in final destination and characters are always like it's it's i don't know what the rating was like back then but characters were already, were already swearing but I think in PG films in like the UK, even if you have like one or two swear words, it can still be skewered towards like the lower ratings. If it's just like one or two swear I words. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, so like characters, so I remember the, the opening scene where they like get on the plane and people start arguing or whatever. Um, it's it's kind of sus because you can hear people obviously swearing yeah. <laughs> and the teacher's just like, uh, Samuel, is this, is, is this suitable for this age range? And he's like, yeah, miss, don't worry. It's just the opening scene. Don't worry, miss. Yeah. Like, just don't worry about it. And she's like, okay, okay. <laughs> and so I remember the, the opening scene is where like, I, I think it's it's where the plane crashes. That's the first final destination. Yeah. And I remember, <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so, uh, so a bunch of twelve year olds are just watching, uh, watching this plane take off, and then obviously um, the plane starts to crash. Uh, the the wing snaps, and everyone's fucking screaming. It's terrifying, yeah. right? In the scene, and then you see like blood splatter, and then you see someone getting burned alive. <laughs> And immediately, immediately, like the fuck, the teacher gets up aggressively, like aggressively gets off to the TV. Doesn't even doesn't even switch it off. Unplugs the TV. <laughs> and goes, Samuel, get outside now. <laughs> and uh, that was my very first experience at Final Destination. Absolutely, Just- Chad Samuel. <laughs> he was like, he probably walked out. Was like, worth it. <laughs> they, they, I remember one of them put like. Uh, it was an art class, I remember this. And like the teacher was not tech savvy at all. <laughs> yeah. right? And uh, he put meat spin on all the PCs <laughs> and then took just unplugged all the mouse and keyboards. And he, the p- teacher was having a mental breakdown, didn't understand why he couldn't just like, he was like fucking hammering the keyboard. Yeah. Like, why was it turning off? And then he started hitting the monitor, then he tried to turn the monitor off. I don't even think he knew how to turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. And then he, he didn't know how to turn it off. He didn't even think of unplugging it or anything. So this was still playing the whole time. And then goes and gets another teacher to come right, in right. and he's like, why didn't you turn it off? And he's like, oh, I didn't know how. And he presses the button to turn it off. Classic meat spin. It's like meat spin. And there's like these poor girls as well. I've never seen this. Don't, don't oh, look it up. So you oh, don't know oh, what that is. Because obviously we're all like 12s. So yeah. Every yeah, guy yeah, had yeah. seen it. We're all like, yeah, you've seen meat spin. <laughs> if you're a guy and you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, I mean, it was <laughs> I mean, it was like meat spin, lemon party. That, oh, that was lemon it, right? Party, lemon party. You didn't know what goatsy was. I didn't know was, what goatsy right? was. That was, that was <laughs> obviously like a few years past. God, where- what was it? You came in the office like, what, like a month ago? I was like, I just found out what goatsy is. <laughs> Or something, right? And we were like, oh, how did you find that out, right? How did you find out? How do you like find out about years? Goat Scene 2021? No, you you guys were the ones who told me about it. Were we? Yeah, it was it was like literally a recording a trash taste, and you were just telling uh why was I talking about Goat Scene? Wait, this was in an episode. <laughs> no, this wasn't no, an no, episode. No, no, no. This was like before we started yeah, recording. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know what it was. No, I didn't and know we were what like, it was. How did you how, wait, you know what meat spin was? You didn't know what goat scene was? <laughs> I had to explain to Gar what goat scene was. <laughs> Please don't look it up. It's, yeah, it's, it's some men spreading his butt cheeks. Yeah, but it's, it. it's it's 2021. Okay, you do, you don't need to know what meat spin is or nah. goatsy. These are all just like websites lemon party. with like people doing horrible things. So yeah, like yeah. trick people. Stuff yeah, like that. pretty sure you can find way worse stuff on the internet now. Anyway, so oh, yeah, of course you do. Yeah, but that, that back back when we were growing up, this was just like the shit you would like show your mates like. Fucking what, like, what else? Hey, there's this really cool thing. If you Google meat spin, oh, two girls, one cup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, Those two girls, one cup is still scarring to this day. Yeah. yeah. I remember watching that. Yeah, going, going back to horror movies, like I would like to find, I, I, a horror movie I really liked, has anyone seen Annihilation? The one with Natalie Portman I've in it? I've heard of that. That sounds so familiar. Yeah. What yeah. happened in this? Uh, so there was the plot breakdown. So the plot breakdown is that um, there's an alien artifact or some artifact from space that crash lands um, somewhere, somewhere in the world, obviously, mm. and it creates this kind of force field barrier, right? Mm. And uh, you can easily enter the barrier, but you can't get any like electrical signals or any like communications. Oh, yeah. Who else into is this, this feature? Uh, this features Natalie Portman and, and is it Hawkeye. Not, no, you're thinking of uh, Arrival. That was the one, fuck. Which I, I really like Arrival I as well. I heard that was good. That was good, that's not a horror movie though. Oh, I thought it was, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just a sci-fi. <coughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I just I just wanted more sci-fi stuff, which yeah. which I think is why I was really, really okay, into okay. Loki. And so, <clears throat> and so um, they, they can't get any, <clears throat> sorry. They can't get any uh, signals in there, so they don't know what's going on in there. Mm. And every team that they've sent in there just never finds their way out. So mm. they really, they, they literally don't know what's yeah. going on in there. And this force field is slowly, slowly expanding. So eventually it will cover the whole earth. So they need to kind of stop figure it, it right? Yeah, they yeah. need to kind of figure it out. And so they send this team of scientists to go investigate what's inside there. And I kind of won't spoil it from exactly. there because a, a lot that of good. a lot of weird things happen. And mm. it's not like, it's not so, what I liked about it is it's, it was just like really, it's really terrifying, but not because of any jump scares, just some of the ideas within this, you know, with some of the ideas of what happens to the people within this circle are just like really unsettling and really mm. terrifying. It, it, it is very much like a kind of like Jinji Ito ideas where it's mm. just really weird kind of ideas that you don't, you kind of have to have like, I don't, I don't know what kind of minds you need to come up with these <laughs> things, uh, but it's that I'm, I, 
I would like more horror like that. And I don't know where to start with recommendations, which is why if anyone if anyone knows any, then I'm all open. What, no? what was what was that film with the woman <laughs> Nicholas Cage? Um, and there's like numbers, and there's a kid who like has the number. Knowing. Knowing? I, that I, knowing. I don't, I don't know how one. I remember That's this. That's the one. Have you seen that movie? Yeah, I've seen that movie. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> I can't remember, but I remember being really fucking stupid. <laughs> Nicholas, okay. Nicholas Cage, Nick like, he like stops like a plane crashing or something. No, right. no, I, I think, cause I, I watched this as a kid. I remember he, I, I think it's like this something- This to be a series where we just like try and poorly recollect movies. <laughs> like, like what's this movie I watched? That one movie <laughs> where like this thing happened? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and re recreate this movie from what I remember. How do you remember this perfectly? Um, Because, okay, so, as a kid in the summer, uh, this is going on another tangent now. Mm. So my summers consider, consisted of me going to Thailand and me spending like six weeks in Thailand. And obviously mm. I wouldn't have something to do every day. Mm, so so like part of my childhood, ex childhood experience is going to the mall and go and in like, and just <laughs> like, in in basically every Southeast Asian country, there'd be these stands where you have these like DVD covers mm -hmm. and you just like, you just like flip through the covers yeah. and just choose which movies you'd want to see. Yeah. And some of them weren't out on DVD yet yeah. officially, yeah. right? Yeah. So you just flip through them and you just want, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one, I want that one. And then they'd ask you to uh, go go walk in the mall for like a good half an hour to an hour. And then mm. they'll, they'll call you. Yeah, I'll yeah. tell you when your purchase is ready, <laughs> right. which was a hundred percent totally Legal, of yeah, course, of course. Of course. Um, but we all know that Southeast Asia is very strict copyright. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so, like, my summer would just be basically watching every blockbuster Hollywood movie that came out that year because that that I, I look forward to it because I could literally pick every film. And to this day, knowing yeah. is still the best. <laughs> <laughs> and to this day, I still remember knowing. That's why. That's honestly why Fifty First Dates almost went on went on my three by three because I'd watched that so many times. I thought you were gonna say because of knowing or something. I was like, what does this have to do with it? Because There's only one movie that tops knowing. Fifty <laughs> First Dates. <laughs> yeah. So like. I'd watch so many of these films, which are now what I classify as like airplane films, because now I would not watch them in any other circumstances, yeah. Yeah. unless I was on an airplane. Um, but I, Knowing was one of the films that I was stuck inside indoors in Thailand, yeah. had nothing to do but just watch films. And uh, from what I remember, it was the, I think it had to do with like a time capsule that was buried ages ago. Oh, right. Yeah, that was it. And there was yeah. like a number, like a cipher or something in yeah, it. Yeah, there was some kind of cipher. With numbers. Or something that like, it. and that like predicted the apocalypse or something. Um, and immediately Nic and, sounds dumb. And Nicolas Cage was just like, I see the future. I see what's <laughs> going to happen. The numbers, make some money. And uh, stuff, Nicolas Cage things happen. Yeah. And then uh, the world literally ends because I think it's a solar flare that uh, kills everyone. Uh, spoilers, wow. if you ever wanted to watch Knowing. I wanted to watch no, Knowing. You if, you if, if you ever wanted to watch the masterpiece that is Nicolas Cage's Knowing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> How did we get on this topic? Uh, we're just talking about movies, eh? Just talking about horror movies. <laughs> that was is, a horror. Is that a horror movie? I, I think it is a horror. It's supposed to be a horror. It's not it, a as horror, it is horror movie. Horrible. I'm looking up right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking up right now, knowing my Nicholas Cage. Right, can we take a break? Because I need to pee. And I'm very hot right now. Yeah, I found out it is a science fiction film, not a horror film, but it was. Uh, it, 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 was like it was pretty horrible. It felt like horror. It, it was pretty like horror. horror right? Whatever happened to Nicholas Cage? I know he's just busy. Just he just kind of went off the rails, didn't he? Yeah. A little bit, and then I don't know. I don't. I don't feel educated enough to talk about him. <laughs> I don't really keep up with Nicolas Cage's life. How, how many, many? How many Nicolas Cage films have you seen? A fair amount. Too many. Really? Too many. Probably more than I'd care to yeah. admit. I probably watched one, and I was like, "What? All right. Really? Not yeah. One? You don't watch like Conair? Huh? Yeah, watch, Con I was about to say Conair. Conair. I've heard of that one. Fucking classic. How I think. You? I think I watched. Uh, what was the one where he was in Vegas? Fear and Loathing in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I watched that. <laughs> with Las Vegas in the title. That, yeah. Did that have Nicolas Cage in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Nicolas Cage. Oh, yeah. I had no idea. I watched Fear and Loathing in Las <laughs> Vegas and I was hmm. like, All right. Wait, is that a remake? Is it a remake of an old one? I feel, like, I think I feel it like it is a remake. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. I watched that and I saw his, like, you know, the scene where he, like, fucking loses it in the casino. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like, yeah, that yeah. one. And that I was one, like, one. All right, <laughs> I, I just got like, at that moment, I was like, I understand Nicolas Cage now. <laughs> and then everything else I've seen from Nicolas Cage has just been like YouTube clips from other movies that Hon he's been Honestly, in. that's that's all you need to like yeah. experience Nicolas Cage. I feel it's the best way to experience Nicolas Cage, just out of context movie clips, right? I, I, th I think one of my favorite YouTube Nicolas Cage clips is, there's, there's a lot by the way, there's a lot, but one of my favorites is just someone edited 
edited him like uh, during like a driving scene or something. Yeah. And it's just like, it's just him like getting into a car and just it, it out of context, it looks like he's just play driving. Like <laughs> it's it's so hard to describe, but right. it's, ah, oh, it's, it's you, you gotta watch it. And uh, another th- another thing is just Nicolas Cage slowly mo- losing his mind as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Where, have, have you got, have you seen that one? I think so, yeah. yeah. Where it's just like him slowly getting more and more crazy as the clip goes to the sound, to the um, soundtrack of Requiem of Dream. <laughs> Yeah, and it's absolutely fucking amazing. I've so seen good. this one. Oh, I gotta show you afterwards. Uh, Fear and Loathing is not a remake. Oh, it's not, it's a, remake. not. It's a remake. It's a screenplay adaptation of a novel, I think. Oh, oh okay, okay, okay. It's not a remake. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but uh, yeah. I, what happened to Nicolas Cage? We could use more Nicolas Cage films, honestly. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember how we got onto the topic of Nicolas Cage. Oh no, I lied. I seen that other film with uh, Nicolas Cage, the the not the bees one. What the fuck is that called again? The bees. The bees one. I know exactly. What the fuck is the name of that movie? I just I, I have not seen uh, the bees I've, one. I've not seen that movie, but I've seen that. Scene. I saw I've seen Wicker the clips. Man. Wicker Man. Wicker Man. <laughs> I saw that. I watched Wicker Man just because that you know the fucking not the bees one was like it was a meme for the longest time. So I'm like, yeah. well, I mean. It's a funny meme, but I kind of want to see this scene in context, right? I just got really curious. I was do, like, I want to see- Do, do you con- need to see this scene in context? So I watched it in context. Oh, did you actually? Yeah. Did makes you actually? just as much sense out of context, honestly. <laughs> it was the first time where I, I watched it mm-hmm. and then I instantly recognized the meme, right? I was like, oh, this is the scene. Yeah. Finally, I'll be able to understand why they pour the bees in the basket. <laughs> and I watched, I was like, no, I don't know. Did I like, pass out for like five minutes or something. Like it, it, it just suddenly went to this scene. I was like, I wait, I don't understand why th- this is kind of unnecessary. <laughs> what is I, that film even about? I think they just, I don't even remember. That's the only scene I remember is the, the bee scene. Like every, I think everybody, I think everybody who watched Wicker Man yeah. only remembers that the scene. The bee scene. The bee scene. Honestly. Is there any other scene in the movie? It's just that. Not, nothing that's notable, no. Nothing that's, that's worth putting to memory. My God. Yeah, like on the, on the topic of horror films, one thing that always like fascinated me as a kid that I don't think is around anymore is like, I feel like part of the, part of the, you know, the blockbuster or rental DVD experience mm. for me was going to the rental, like the blockbuster and just seeing like the fucking horrific DVD covers of like every <laughs> horror movie, right? I don't know why, like they, those fascinated yeah. me as a kid. And were they, they bad or like, what do you mean horrific? Like scary? Yeah, they were like really fucking I was, terrifying. I was like, cause the blockbuster near my house, well, that, that's not there anymore, obviously. There was, it was separated into aisles for different genres. Yeah, so yeah. all of the action blockbusters were in one aisle, yeah. all the romance were in one aisle. Mm. And then right on like the far left of the blockbuster, there was yeah. the aisle for all the horror films. Yeah. I was so scared to walk down that aisle. (laughs) Just because like, just in my periphery, you just see this like terrifying looking movies, right? And it's like, usually it's got like a really scary face. that's like looking right in front. I'm just like, I I, I almost- Both of you were scared of seeing the horror titles? Honestly, I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of a pussy. Honestly, yeah. when, when it comes I, to when it comes to films, um, I'm kind of a pussy when it comes I'm to horror. I'm a proud pussy. I, when I, it comes I, to I will films. happily admit that like Sydney tries to get me to watch a horror film. I'm like, no, Sydney, I am too scared. Okay, I think because I had an older brother, two older brothers, I think I just saw the covers laying around a bunch because they're like they were like you know my oldest brother was like. Uh, I don't know. I actually don't know how many years older he is than me. I can't. Mm-hmm. I can't keep track. I can actually <laughs> like remember five the, or the, six. I, don't know. <laughs> I can actually remember the time where I realized I hated horror films. It's because like I think I was like five or six years old. Yeah. And I was in the living room, and my parents were watching The Ring. Oh. oh my God. And like obviously, you know, I was kind of just hanging around while they were just watching that movie, but. I, I remember I looked over at the TV and it was the scene where <laughs> Sadako comes out of the TV. Yeah. And that was the moment where I was like, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. I hate anything that is like this. I hate any film that is like blue gradient. <laughs> no, no, no. Blue gradient. No, 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 the VHS the, effect. The, the, yeah. true, the true horror is when you're like 14 watching a film with your parents and a sex scene comes on. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God. Hashtag relatable. And you're like, I don't know what this is. What is this? I have no idea what's going on here. Even a kiss scene for me was like, like, like a what, way- really? You're like, oh Jesus. Oh, no, like a, like a way too dragged out kiss scene. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, or yeah. it's like, it's not like a patch. It's like a make out scene. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't go to the sex scene. It just stop. It's probably like a PG film or something. It's just a really long make out scene. I'm just like, guys, we get it. Get a fucking room. All right, please. My parents are here. <laughs> 
Stop it. No, because like I remember what back back in the age of like teen like teen comedy flicks with mm. stuff like American Pie and stuff like mm. that. I don't, I don't know why American Pie was always on TV in the UK. Yeah, yeah, really? yeah. Uh, on on ITV two, it was always on. Yeah, it was always mm. on. It was always on at like. 10 to 11, for some reason, they played yeah. all the American Pie films all the time. Okay. It was, it so was always like, like everyone in the UK has seen American Pie. Yeah. Right, right. It was always uncut as well. It was yeah. it was the closest thing we had like to uh, the, the comedy like classic. They show boobs and stuff. And I was like, whoa, whoa, it's, <laughs> it's 11 PM. <laughs> uh, and of course your parents would have to walk in over like during every fucking nude scene and yeah, every fucking makeout scene. Cause I remember, I remember my parents walked in when uh, I was watching American Pie 2. And of course there was like the lesbian makeout scene. Mm. Oh my and God. of course that was the scene that they had to walk through. <laughs> <laughs> Have those movies aged well? I don't think they've aged well. I don't very, think they've aged well at all. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't seen American Pie, Pie in a while. I think all now. those kinds of like teenage comedy films have just not aged well. Like, <laughs> no, like no, Scary Movie so. has not aged well. Scary all. Movie was never funny. Uh, I don't know. No. I think I remember there was but one time- it's less funny now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One time I was watching something and it was like, I think there was drugs and sex in it and I was just playing my Game Boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is going on. Yeah. They were like, oh, I remember I was like 12, so my parents were like, oh, don't worry, he doesn't understand anything. And I'm like, I'm like, oh, I think I do. I just, I'm just pretending like I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, yeah, I think it's fine. I think he gets yeah, it. Yeah. I don't think he understands what's happening. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah totally. You know, you're like, damn. I'm like, whoa, this is weird. <laughs> Did your parents ever say anything during like those fucking awkward scenes? Or no, was that's it just what like, made it Was it just like the awkward silence? It was just silence. That's what made it yeah. more awkward. But oh, I always <laughs> used to like get up and like be like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> did you actually? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I remember, like I would, if, I would, if one I of my parents didn't do it, I was like, I all right, I'll remember. be the one to go to the bathroom. Then. You know what know film? I remember watching it at like age 10 with my parents. I think this is why they played it because I was so young where they thought he's, he's not going to understand anything. Right. Yeah. Which broke back mountain. Nice. With like my parents. <laughs> okay. And I don't remember what happened in it because I was 10, <laughs> but I do remember there was there was gay things happening. Yeah. It's I, just I, Jake Gyllenhaal and Heath Ledger having a water sex. Yeah, that's yeah. what I remember. But, that, but that's, yeah, I was like, oh, okay. I don't know what's, on, I don't understand what's happening. But my parents were like, for some reason they were like, yeah, let's watch Brokeback Mountain with our son. <laughs> it's so unfortunate though, because that's actually a really that's, fucking good no, movie. No, because I went back and watched it yeah. after, after I was like, uh, I think 18, because I'd watched The Dark Knight. I was like, whoa, this Heath Ledger guy can act good. Huh? <laughs> Damn. Yeah, and then obviously because you found out about his death and yeah, you're like, yeah. oh, whoa, I got to watch everything he's in. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, wow, this is good. I think I remember watching this, but mm. I, don't, I couldn't remember when. And then I was like, oh. The PTSD kicked in. And I kicked flashback. <laughs> oh, I remember now. But I remember I was speaking to my friend and he was like, yeah, do you ever just feel awkward when sex scenes come on when you're with your friends? And I'm like, no. No. I'm, it- like, I'm like, no, not at all. When you're with your friends, it's different. I'm like, what? No. Yeah. Why, why would I feel awkward with a sex scene with my mates? Like, then it's just weird, isn't it? It's just, and I'm like, no. I don't think I've ever watched a sex scene with my mates now that I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a thing you have to like check off? I don't know. Oh, you, you never watched a film with your friends that has a sex scene in it? I'm trying to think. I think I've watched like funny porno plots with my friends, like fake taxi. With my friends, I've just watched porn with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I have watched. I have been like, let's watch this funny porno, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever that, gone through that. No, that's like my favorite pastime is like watching cursed porn with my friends. <laughs> you never watch porn with your friend? And I had a friend as well. I was like, right. you can watch straight uh, normal movies with straight sex in it, okay. but he couldn't watch no- normal movies with gay sex scenes in it with his friends. He was like, it's just super uncomfortable. That's Why? just a bit of macho insecurity. Yeah, that like, 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 sounds a bit insecure I was, yeah, to I me. Like, I don't know, man. It sounds, sounds like you're a little insecure to me. He's like, no, 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 no. I just don't like it. I'm like, why don't you like it? And then he's like, I'm, I'm not homophobic. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not homophobic, but <laughs> what's wrong with the little guy on guy action, yeah, bro? I'm like, I'm like, frankly, as a man, I enjoy watching other. <laughs> I think there's nothing manlier than being able to sit there and enjoy that. You know, come on, man. What's wrong? With you? you know, manly. It's just blokes hanging out, isn't it? <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. <laughs> Is he like a lads, lads? I, I feel like, yeah, that happens. A lot of guys like that in the UK though, you know? There's yeah. always there's always one guy like that. I feel in every guy. Well, I, I, feel, I feel like lads culture is definitely like a thing in the UK, oh, yeah. which mm. is like kind of- I'll oh, say in Australia, yeah. Yeah, is, is, do, you, do you guys have lads culture in, in Australia? Do you have oh. friends who would be like that if you try- if you Oh were, yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, like 
because I went to a boys' school as well, so it was yeah. even yeah. more so. Where it's like just macho insecurity everywhere. Where it's yeah. like you know you'd be out yeah, it's, it's after kinda, school. It's, it's kind of toxic. Yeah, you know? you'd be I, out I, after I, school, I, I, I didn't and they'd just be like you know a girl from like you know a nearby girls' school or yeah. whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, you you should, you, oh, you should totally smash her, bro. You should yeah. totally smash yeah. her. It's yeah. like yeah. I'm just like I'm I'm not. Yeah, you know, I, I try not to be confrontational because they're your friends, right? Mm-hmm. But I also try and I'm not gonna sit there and be like, dude, that's pretty. You know, that's pretty not okay, man. That's like, that's pretty. That's pretty fucked. Yeah, I've had argue argument with my friends about it as well, where I'll just be like, yeah, that's uh, that's kind of homophobic. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know if you realize it is, but that is homophobic. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. exactly. Like, do you think because we spend so much time on the internet that we've just had like more awareness about this kind of culture and stuff? Because- I, think, I think so, because you know, a lot of my friends would never be like, they're, they're not, I don't think they would ever be like, I hate gay people or anything no, like no, that, no. right? Mm. But yeah. also you have to understand where that comes from. If you if there's something where you can watch a normal sex scene, but you can't watch a gay sex scene. Mm. Yeah. like. Why is that? Like, what's going on there? Like, yeah. if you're a normal person, surely who doesn't give a fuck, you'd have no problem to either, right? Yeah. You know, maybe you would find one hotter than the other, but surely you wouldn't have a problem, right? Yeah. I don't know if this is too much for trash taste viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, just because you're okay with watching a sex scene doesn't mean you need to be, like, into it. No, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. There's a difference between being into that's it. That's what I was saying. Just watching yeah. That's what I was trying to be like. I was it. like, yeah, yeah. you. Don't have to actively dislike it, yeah. like, yeah. but like you, you don't have to like turn it off or like go in the other room. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, there's, yeah. there's a you can just sit there and be like, all right, it's not for me, but I'm not going to be disgusted by yeah, it. It's part of the story, right? Yeah, so it's, it's like it whatever. is what it is. Yeah, yeah. that's what I yeah. was saying. I yeah. was like, you know, if it's part of the plot, it's what it yeah. is, man. Like, they're like, oh, I don't know, it's just kind of weird, isn't it? I'm it's like, like, it's I'm like, like <laughs> I'm like, is it weird? Explain how it's weird. It's like, don't watch Brokeback Mountain if that's the case. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's literally what that movie's about. I was like, I was like, that's the problem though. You. You think it's weird? Like yeah. it's not like it's like it's not well, it's not it's, weird that people fuck. Yeah, you know? exactly. like, I think I think the problem is that it's just a lot of the times, especially like in lads culture, people just have never thought about this too deeply because that's that's right, like they, they have these they yeah. I'm not saying that someone is yeah. I totally agree with you. Go ahead. Go yeah, ahead. yeah, no, because like. I, this this is what I feel every time I go back to my hometown and yeah. I see some like my hometown friends who like I I very much grew up in like lads culture hanging out with like yeah. lads 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 yeah, like yeah. Uh, and they still like fucking go to you know go every every fucking summer go to Ibiza mm. and you know try to smash as many birds as possible <laughs> it's, it's you know that that kind that's of like, what it is, yeah. that's yeah, that yeah. kind of like lads culture and yeah, I'm just yeah. like. It, as I've grown older, I'm just like, yeah, this is a kind of a toxic mindset in a lot yeah. of ways, you know, it's yeah. uh, it's it's very much, because uh, I think the problem is that they don't really talk about it. They don't yeah. really talk about their, don't really talk about their feelings or like really think about things too deeply because well, that's, yeah. that's not a lad that, thing to that's, do. That's considered weak. Yeah, right? that's considered weak. Yeah. Yeah, You're not an alpha male if you talk about your feelings and shit. Yeah. And also, <laughs> you know, they don't really have conversations like this. They never, yeah, they, they don't. Talk about it. So that normally yeah. when I've, when it's been something that I've spoken about people, it's like, it's a, especially in like where I'm from, Mm-hmm. It's like the first person who's ever been like, now why do you feel that way about this? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, now why now why is it that it makes you uncomfortable? You know what I mean? Like yeah. So so what do you mean by that? Yeah, yeah. It's expanded that. And I was just like, and then oh, that, I don't know. And, you know, and I've had like confrontations about it because it's like yeah. they get very defensive about it. Because yeah, they're like yeah. they feel like, oh shit, wait, is he trying to say that I'm I'm in the wrong for feeling this way? Yeah. yeah, yeah and yeah, it's yeah. like, well, no, I'm not trying to, but it's like, why are you feeling that way? Maybe yeah. think, maybe just, think just about it. Have a discussion maybe, about it. Maybe, right? maybe, oh, like maybe look at like what's going on. It's 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 funny because like some of the most kind of insecure feel, uh, people I've ever met are like the are like some of the like biggest lads I've ever yeah, seen, yeah, yeah. like mm. the prop like gym bros who. Yeah. Some, sometimes it's it's insecurity. Sometimes it's it's uh, toxic masculinity. Sometimes it's homophobia. It's yeah. like it's whatever it is. Mm. It's like get to the core of it if that's what's bothering you. <laughs> you can't watch Brokeback Mountain without being yeah. disgusted. <laughs> it's a great movie. Look, it's a great movie. All, yeah. all, I'm, all I'm saying is. If you're a guy, don't be afraid to talk about your feelings with other guys. Yeah. I, I feel like, I feel like I didn't have that when I was growing up because I thought, I thought that it was the mentality where if I yeah. did this with my bros, then I was the weak one. You know, that's yeah. that's that's yeah. not what that's not what bros do to each other. You yeah, know? you know, and I, I wouldn't say we're like SJW or anything like no. that. I just. I don't know. I just don't, don't want don't want to discriminate. Yeah, no, exactly. Why right? should you? You know. I don't yeah, know. exactly. It's my personal opinion. I'm sure that I'm I'm no, I'm no doubt there's some viewers of trash taste. Like, I can't believe this. They've spoken about this issue and stuff. But I mean, that's. I mean, it's a sensitive topic. There's, I mean, there's stuff, a, that I, uh, stuff that I would talk about. Yeah, but I mean, there's some things that are sensitive, and yeah. there's some things where I'm like. No, that's just straight up wrong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah of course, of course. Yeah. You know. yeah, I mean, there's you know, there's some things where I'm just like, I I, th- I think we I think we should talk about this, and I think no, you know, it's I think 
it's not toxic at all to at least start a conversation because I think a lot yeah. of a lot of the times a lot of people just haven't really never really put any thought into it mm. and they yeah, grew up a they lot of the time they don't yeah they grew up in a culture they grew up in a lifestyle and that has just never put them in a position that challenges the way they think and yeah and mm, if someone yeah. does feel uncomfortable with us talking about this topic or yeah. hearing that idea makes you uncomfortable i would say just like don't get angry about it mm -hmm. don't don't you know react to it just think yeah. like all right just turn off trash taste go watch uh just think why does it like why does it get you angry like yeah. what about it like, yeah. if that's like a whole religious thing all right fine that's 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 your problem but like i don't know like, like yeah i because I, like i just feel like it's it's better now for at least people who are like I guess on the internet and especially on social media because yeah. people are talking about this more often, yeah. which is good. But I still like there there, you forget sometimes that we are not. I, I I don't even know if we're the majority, you know, because you I every time I go home, I don't know. I, 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 it's, Most it's hard to tell. Talk about it. Right? It's hard to tell like, right now because we're we I'm like so ingrained in obviously our jobs are surrounded with the internet and surrounded yeah. with you know people who think like me yeah. that I it's weird whenever you go to like go back home see family <clears throat> see friends from back yeah. home and you're just like wow everyone thinks exactly the same everyone has not changed much at all because mm -hmm. they just there's no one in their community or in their group of friends right, right, that, right. that are exposed to the same thing as we are so yeah, no totally yeah because mm -hmm. obviously on my channel like very pro LGBTQ but like Obviously, going back home, it's not, not a thing that's spoken about much. It, it, yeah. it is kind of. It, it depends who you ask, really. I think now more than before, definitely. Yeah. With how the world's just changing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my parents are pretty good with it. I, I always try and uh, educate them as well when I can. <laughs> try and yeah. tell them about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I, like, I, I would like to think most of the time it is just pure ignorance. And oh, totally. You, you, and especially mm -hmm. if in small towns. Yeah. Like where I, you know, obviously, not everyone is on the internet all the time. Not everyone's in a big city surrounded yeah, by yeah. it. So it's, you know, a lot of the time they just don't come across it. They're just like, oh, it's a, that guy's very funny on TV and he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what, they, that's what it's like. That's what my parents are like. You know, they're like, you know, he's gay. You know, he's gay. Like, oh, well, thanks, man. Uh, cool. Uh, <laughs> that's like, that's like a, yeah. a thing, you know. <laughs> but I mean, you know, it's, uh, it's it's I mean it's everywhere now, so it's like it's good. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I just I don't know. It's uh, it sucks that it's one of those things that it, it even has to be somewhat controversial sometimes to talk to talk about, right? And we even really <sighs> spoke about it on trash taste. So I'm sure mm -hmm. that some people will be alienated by it, but mm -hmm. it sucks that it even has to be something that alienates people. Yeah, you know when exactly. it's just a fact. People are gay. Get over it. <laughs> like, uh, we, just, we just like Brokeback Mountain, man. Wait, <laughs> what can great, I say? It's a great yeah, fucking it's a great movie. Film. It's a fucking awesome movie. <laughs> <laughs> trash taste Brokeback Mountain. Watch a lot. Heath, Le <laughs> Heath Ledger, Jake Gyllenhaal. Fucking amazing job. Yeah. Yeah, I love that movie. You sometimes forget Heath Ledger's a fucking Australian in that movie. Is he Australian? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's Australian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you I, think he's British? I, I think a lot of people think he's British. I, I had no I idea. Lot, I think everyone thinks he's American. Oh, do they? Yeah, I thought he was American because I my first experience with Heath Ledger was uh, 10 Things You Hate About Me. No, no, no like, he, he, wait, uh, Heath, Heath Ledger is Australian? Heath Ledger is Australian. Oh, what? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Jake Gyllenhaal's American, obviously. Yeah, oh, I, thought, I thought you meant Jake Gyllenhaal. No, 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 oh, Jake shit. Gyllenhaal's American, I'm Heath so Ledger is. The Joker is Australian. Oh. Yeah. It's just a great actor, right? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like a lot of, you know, if, if you're in Hollywood, I think we've talked about this, haven't we? How they're good at like, they're good at doing the American accent. Mm. Yeah. But uh, you, you watch like some of like the worst, the worst attempts that people are attempting a British accent is oh, like I mean, I, comically I, yeah. bad. I, mean, oh, yeah. I, I love Keanu Reeves, but his British accent. Uh, oh, about. him in like Dracula? Yeah, Dracula, yeah. yeah oh. that was it. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> that was hilarious. It's a tie between that and uh, fucking at the end of Django when Tarantino appears and oh, is like an Australian. Oh my God. <laughs> What's going I, on, mate? I What's going died on? on the inside the when armor. I saw that. I was like, this movie was almost perfect. <laughs> and then Tarantino was the like- <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad he blew up yeah. <laughs> yeah. at the end. Someone needed to get rid of that. <laughs> I'm, just thinking, I'm sitting here like, what do we title this episode? What we, yeah, right. What do we even spoke about today? I don't know. How do we uh, even get onto this? Oh, yeah. the summer is hot. Summer the summer Sum is hot. Summer block, trash taste summer blockbuster. <laughs> Fuck no. Fuck no. I love how uh, like during the conversation earlier about whatever the fuck it was, just I, I was trying to listen to what you were saying, just, yeah. but just from the outside, I could just hear like a shitload of cicadas. Cicadas? Yeah. Cicadas? Cicadas? Cicada. I say cicada. Cicadas? Isn't it cicada? Is it cicada? Cicadas? Am I the weird one? It's I say cicada. cicada. It's cicada. Okay, Google, how do you pronounce <laughs> cicadas? <laughs> Sorry to anyone who was fucking. Uh, Wait, I'm probably on, we, just we like we got to continue with the podcast till we find us out. What does Google say? <laughs> cicada King rise up. Cicada. It is. It is cicada. I don't even know. 
yeah. Fuck off. Hell yeah, Gary Fuck Wolf. off. Wait, what Hell pronto- yeah. What, 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 what size what, are you What pronunciation? Yeah, but wait, does that say American or UK? Yeah. What is that? What's going on? Thank you. Oh, American is Oh, I say cicada. Oh, okay, this, this is American. Wait, wait, I'm are you correct. Me? I'm correct. British no, 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 cicada. British, British, British say British. cicada and American say cicada. Yeah, so yeah. this is American, so, so this is cool. I say, yeah, I've been and saying And the British cicada. say cicada. Well, the thing is, is that we don't have them in the UK. My life, my <laughs> life is a lie. <laughs> I've, my I've, life okay. is a fucking lie. You know, cicada has been one of those words. Oh, I should say cicada now. Cicada is one yeah. of those words that I've only ever been here, heard Americans it's, say, because we don't have it in the UK. No one says it in the UK. True, true. No one has ever, I've never heard any British person say. <laughs> literally sounds like something out of Harry Potter. No, it's cicada. Yeah. <laughs> cicada. Cicada. Have you ever, cicada. have you heard a British person say cicada? No, I have never heard no, a British person say cicada. I'm saying cicada now. I'm getting it in my head now. Yeah. I'm gonna say it I know that because- You I, have to rewire I, your brain now. I remember because <laughs> we literally, we literally had a Netflix shoot uh, where we had to talk about like summer anime things. Yeah. I put cicada. <laughs> I, 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 I thought cicada or cicada was spelled C I R. C A D. Yeah, he literally wrote yeah. Sir Carter. Sir Carter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I did, a, and I did like not the shoot. Got fucking Sir knighted. Carter. <laughs> Sir <laughs> Carter. <laughs> yeah, I, th- I thought Sir Carter had a R in it this entire time, but apparently it doesn't. Not. Um, it's Cicada now. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I've said this before, the Netflix shoot, but I remember when I first moved to Japan and I literally had gone my entire life thinking that mm. every Cicada sound effect in every anime was just a stock sound effect, right? <laughs> Cause they all sound exactly the same. You watch yeah. like one summer anime episode and you're like, they're just using the same fucking sound effect as the other anime, right? Yeah. And I didn't realize until t- I moved to Japan that Cicadas just all sound exactly the fucking same. Yeah. I thought it was just a fucking audio jungle stock sound effect. <laughs> no, I don't know how they sound so similar. It's, the- it's literally just been hardwired into their brain to be like, sound like this at this exact interval. Yeah, to, to the point where I was like sitting at home one night um, or, or one day, and I literally thought I had the TV on playing a random anime. And I, <laughs> I didn't realize that just the window was open. Yeah, I literally yeah. like went to my living room to turn off the TV. Cause I was like, I'm not, no one's watching anything. And I, and yeah. I, lo and behold, it was just the window. And I couldn't tell the difference between it's a TV on. stock sound effect it's and the on. real life. Yeah. Man, I, I, have you seen them flying? Yeah. They're fucking massive. They're terrifying. Yeah. I, I was outside uh, the trash taste office and uh, I was just walking listen to music, just jamming, mm. you know? And one flew in my fucking face and I fucking smacked it. <laughs> I smacked it and I felt really bad because it hit the woman in front of me on her, <laughs> on her back. You literally just tossed a cicada. I right? Yeah, and she turned around and I was like, <laughs> Fuck, fucking playing ping pong with yeah, cicada. Yeah, I, I just hit it because I, I panicked and I just fucking smacked no, it. No, what's, what's scarier yeah. is when they land on your balcony. But like, yeah. like yeah. You they think, don't, they, they just, but you think they're dead. They just yeah. don't move. Yeah, yeah they yeah. just like kind of boom and just flop down. You're like, oh, is he dead? And then you yeah. touch it, it's like. <laughs> yeah, there's one outside my door. So I opened the door. Yeah. And then I started like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is that? Scarier than all, any horror film. Cause I just opened my door. You don't expect that. Yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah, at yeah, my yeah, door. Yeah. You never expect a jump scare at your door. <laughs> That's fucked up. It just, I'm it was, gonna use the last of last of my life to troll this human. It was literally like under the door. So I opened yeah. the door and it was just, it got like sh- the door like sh- like rubbed it or something. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. I was like, ah, what is, what is that? I'd never seen one before either. <laughs> no, I'd never seen first, one. This is my first I, time I, seeing I one. I had never seen one before either. So yeah. I'd no, I had no idea what they look like. And these fucking shitheads are so big. Yeah. yeah. They're fucking massive. I just fucking yeeted back in my like apartment. I was like, yeah. oh. The terrifying. And also dude. another thing I didn't know is that like, I, I had always assumed, like I remember the first time I came to Japan, like these motherfuckers are loud. Like, oh, yeah. It, it, like, like you, you need to wear, you need like noise casting headphones yeah. to like even survive outside. <laughs> you, right? you think it's like a swarm of them. Yeah, and I, 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 swine, yeah. I, I thought I, I walked past this tree and I'm like, man, these, there are like a swarm of cicadas just in this tree. And then it like, it just like suddenly just stops. And I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and, I, and then, and then I, I realized it's one motherfucker making all this sound. Yeah. Yeah. One. one motherfucker makes so, it's so loud. And it's actually like impressive how fucking loud this cicada is. Yeah. Right, because I, I'm on my balcony and like I can hear what I think is a swarm of cicadas on like the other side of the city or something. And then I realized it's just one because it just like, it's so weird, like having like a, like it's, it's so weird going outside and just hearing like, a fucking noise, like it, it sounds like an alarm. Yeah. And then just, it, it, it just suddenly stops as well. And then it just suddenly stops. Why, why do they make noise? What are they trying to, are they trying to mate or something? Yeah, it's yeah, a mating yeah. call. 
Fuck's sake, why are they so I think they're like, isn't, don't they like rub their legs together to make that sound or something? I think it's what, like a violin. Like yeah, like a violin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like the world's <laughs> shittiest violin. <laughs> yeah, because apparently they can only mate during like a very short period of their life. Mm. Um, during the summer. Yeah, during the summer. So they're like, they're, <laughs> they're fucking horny as fuck, man. They need to fuck. They're the lads of the insect. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then they fuck once and they die. Yeah. And then that's it. That's, that's just their entire life. They, they live for that one fuck and then they die. Like, oh, they make as much noise as possible to so, get that sorry, one I, fuck. I came too early, die. <laughs> 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 Just imagine nutting and then immediately dying. Honestly, if it's a, if it's a bad best way to go. Honestly, <laughs> sometimes I've nodded and I've wanted to die right after. You know what I mean? Like, Honestly, I can think of worse ways to die yeah. than, yeah. than yeah. having like a nut so amazing that you're like, all right, life is peach now. I am <laughs> death initiates. Some people die from cows. You know, that's oh, for fuck's sake. I, I, I'm bringing this back right because after that, I, yeah. I, I realized Gant was like, how do people die from cows? I'm like, Gant, they're like four tons. What do you mean? How do people die from cows? We got like, so many people on the subreddit yeah, reminding like, God. Yeah. You can die from cows, God. You can die from anything that's like four fucking tons, from any like heavy yeah, animal. Yeah, so that's why. So don't make me look like an idiot for saying a cow can kill you. A cow can fucking kill you, God. Just because a cow can kill you doesn't mean that, you know, probably if you get killed by a cow, you're doing something stupid, right? <laughs> yeah. That's just that's just my opinion, right? Yeah, well, yeah. You, you'd have to try really fucking hard to die from a cow. Most, most ways people die are from stupid ways, God, as well. <laughs> Believe it or not. I remember I saw a statistic in Japan where it's like more people in Japan die from vending machines that than they do shark attacks. Oh, well, okay, yeah, that yeah. makes sense, yeah. Wait, how, how? From shaking the vending machine and landing on you and dying. Okay, well, that's just idiots being idiots. You deserve yeah. that if you're shaking yeah, the vending machine. That's what yeah. I mean, it's the same thing with a cow. Like you're not gonna be walking through the fucking paddock and then suddenly a cow's like, let me come and squish you. <laughs> <laughs> but also very, very. Uh, I think they can bite you as well. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, I, they also, kick you also, as well. If you're strong enough to uh, push a vending machine on yourself, yeah. Why, why are you wasting all that talent? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, how do you, how do you get the vending machine to fall on you? It can't be easy. Do you jump on it? Like, why are you people doing this? I I don't know. You Maybe. cannot. You have you tried moving a vending machine? It is not easy. Yeah. Is like you really have to be committed to this stupid act. Like you really are admitting like, all right, I'm breaking a sweat today. Like this is how I'm gonna go. Taking off the Yeezys for this one. Like, you know <laughs> that's what, I mean? that's like, what I'm saying about dying dying from cows, you know? Why, why, why fucking try put like lying under a cow I've, 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 or just like standing on. behind a cow? Just go, just go swim in shark infested waters sure. apparently. I think you, you know, I think you have more chance of dying via the, the cow, honestly. Um, have, you, have, you not, have you not seen enough live link videos of people fucking with animals to, to realize I, I that people watch are live link. I don't know. You just, do you just casually sit down and watch live? No, but sometimes you're I think face, I'd rather watch a horror film. Sometimes yeah, you're on yeah. Facebook or Twitter and one gets on there somehow and you just How? watch. How? I don't know, it just happens. On Twitter? Yeah. You just see like a, you know, like an, a monkey punching a man or something. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? What, what? what people, accounts are you for? I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I really, Justin Wang, <laughs> bro. Really, sure, he does retweet some of those crazy shit. You just, you just see shit and then like people like fucking around with monkeys and then the monkey just beats them up. Honestly, like if I see the live link logo, that's like a, I, I should probably not- There is a worrying amount of people who think that like they can just like do whatever they want their animals. Yeah. But it's um, normally like like third world countries and it's yeah. like scary because they're yeah. like fucking with like a monkey and then the monkey just beats them up and you're like, well, I mean, fair enough. Fair I mean, enough, what did yeah. you expect? The yeah. monkey, monkey <laughs> kind of had the right, you know? And in, in court, I, I would I would vote innocent, you know? You're no, literally fucking with the smartest animal. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. like, like I'm, I'm just very up. wary whenever I see anything live link because I've, I've seen yeah, enough true. fucked up shit on the internet. That I'm sometimes it's like, also I, a meme. I've seen people put live leak on them like meme stuff. I don't so know. That's that's, what, so now I'm like, I'm not sure if it's a meme or not. It's like playing a game for like Reddit 50-50 or whatever it's called, right? That's the only, that's the the only time I've seen enough live leak to know where I'm just like, yeah, no, no nothing yeah, good no, comes out of live leak. No. Sometimes it, it comes on and you're like, this is intriguing enough where I don't think I can stop watching now. Like the the premise, I'm, I'm hooked. I don't know, man. I, I very quickly know. pulled the ball. Yeah, I'm just like- You guys this, have more this, willpower than me. This, I, I kind of, when, when I see the premise or the first one second of the video, I'm like, damn, I can't turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> is that wrong of me? I feel like that's bad. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I'm just wired to clickbait. I don't know. Yeah, it's monkey probably. brain activate, yeah. right? Your curiosity is the best of you. Yeah. Speaking about you spelling uh, circada <laughs> incorrectly. Yeah, circada. I realized like the other day, I'm like, shit, I can't spell shit without autocorrect anymore. <laughs> what? <laughs> My spelling is so bad without autocorrect. Yeah, that's pretty much me as well. I realize now when it's not on, I just kind of like type shit and I know that it will fix it for me. <laughs> that's, a bad, type, that's a bad I just habit. type fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I I'm I got something similar as well where I'm like I I can't do mental arithmetic anymore. 
Like I, I literally like what like I I'm just like oh what's a nine times eight and I'm just like let me get out the calculator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm so reliant on this shit now. I can do now. it, but it'll take me like yeah. twenty seconds. I I can do it, but it requires thinking, and I don't. I, I I'm not all Wait, about that, man. Nine times eight. Yeah, that's easy there. I was gonna say. Think about it, God. How long is it? <laughs> wait, 80, are you, no, wait. Are um, you seventy-two? <laughs> there you go. You got okay. it. Okay, <laughs> I had to think about it. Well done for masters, graduating masters middle school. Masters in engineering, by the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was your method of getting that? I don't. Because um, the nine times table is the easiest. Yeah, that's what I would have done. I would have done nine times nine is eighty-one, then just minus eight. The, oh, no, that, that's that's way too there's, complicated there's for even, me. There's an even easier one. I should have done that. <laughs> anything times nine is super fucking easy. I should have done that. I no, I mean, I, I don't really have a system. It's just figuring it's it out whatever your basically. brain is wired to do fast, right? Yeah. Well, for me, if it's nine times eight, then it's like, well, eight is, so it starts with a seven because whatever you're timesing by nine is always one digit below. Yeah. And then the two digits uh, you, sums up to nine. Am I, am I, I, so I never understood. Seven plus two is nine. You know how every time you would ever have like a new math teacher, they would always teach you that weird way of solving a plus <laughs> and a minus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And they were like, right, so we're gonna add 425 to uh, 522. And then they're gonna do, right, so we're gonna add the four to the five. Easy, it's great. That. And, you know, and I'm like, <laughs> Do we really need to write this down? Can we just like, can we just- <laughs> And then there's always like the, like just the really obscure ways to do it as well, where it's like, there's gotta be an easier way. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, well, let, like all right, the- let me just, it's like, all right. So when you bring the one over, pull out your dictionary. Yeah, <laughs> or it would be like dividing by, and they would have this weird ass timetable or something to do it. And I'm like, this feels so convoluted. Why not, why not just like figure out some other method? It's like, know? teacher, when yeah. am I ever gonna divide 973 by 67? Like. I'm, I'm never know. going to. I'm never going to go on countdown. I don't need to know this shit. <laughs> every every like, single like yeah, the, like it is great that you if you can do that with mm. your with your mind. But there is great party tree. There, there's absolutely no setting where you are ever not going to be using a calculator. And even if you mm. are, they will not allow you to do that because they won't trust you. Yeah. You should be using a calculator <laughs> for good practice. You yeah, know what even, I mean? even if you could divide even, yeah, yeah. Yeah. insane <laughs> numbers, that people are like, no, that's not it. It's good for like estimates when you're th talking engineering terms. You're like, okay, yeah. well, could we maybe we try this much? No, I don't think. Just just off the top of my head, that doesn't seem right. You yeah. Know? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. But yeah. in general, like you know, those exams, it's, you know, they, it's just funny how yeah. like mental arithmetic has just become become kind of like a party trick. Yeah. Like yeah. you there's there's always like you, you always see that one guy every so often where you get the you get like the bill and they can just like divide exactly the right amount in their head. Before. Yeah, but, but it's also like the shittiest type of party trick because it's the party trick that you do and nobody believes. <laughs> and then, and, you then, do, and people check it anyway, and, and right? Either way, it's like, nah, no. that, that, let me put the calculator <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, it is right. Oh, wow, very good. Five <laughs> times five is 25. I remember no. that. <laughs> let me pull it. Bullshit, let me check that. Yeah, yeah I, I, just I, 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 I just work via round numbers now. That is just my life. But yes, <laughs> exactly the same with spelling now where I just, I could not live without autocorrect. Yeah. And I, I don't know, I feel, I feel like it's- it's. Do you have those words that you just, you you know what they look like, but you're like, oh, I just can't be bothered to learn how to spell it right. You know what I mean? I just want necessary. I was literally about to say that. <laughs> was like, that is the one where I'm like, I honestly cannot remember which is it two C's, two S's. Yeah, I, I just I, type I, two it. Two S's, right? I don't know, I just I don't know. I'm no, pretty sure The it's one two. for me that always fucks me up that I still never get right is yeah. guaranteed. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. like, is the U in there? Is there an A in this? Guarant is it guaranteed or is it Guarant guaranteed? <laughs> this, is why, this is why I just, I don't care. I haven't like, yeah, necessarily. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm pretty sure it's two S's. No, yeah. it's not, is it? It's two S's. I don't know, maybe it is. Yeah, N E C E S S A R Y, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure it is, but yeah. I don't really Hold on, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get out of the autocorrect. I, I just type and then <laughs> click. Yeah, it's that one. Yeah. 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 But the thing, the thing about spelling is that it doesn't, uh, at the end of the day- Spelling like, is irrelevant. <laughs> at the end of the day, you, you know, you can spell a word wrong and people will still get like the meaning of the word most of the time, right? Yeah. Was, was, isn't there yeah, this- like phonetics, right? Yeah, I mean, haven't you seen like the video where if you yeah, put yeah. the first letter right and the last letter right yeah, and just course, mix- Yeah, of course, of course. Everyone who's gone on the internet has seen that. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. Have you seen the ballerina that spins the other way too, gone? <laughs> Have you seen the dress that's blue and gray yeah. gold? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Do you remember oh that? yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Oh my God, I completely forgot about that. Yeah. The internet was on fire for a week unnecessarily <laughs> over a fucking dress. <laughs> I remember meme culture, but I remember that was like the hot thing back then. Back in the day, um, <laughs> people, I, I knew I knew that dress meme went too far when people were like, "All right, so I went into Photoshop and I got the color drop, <laughs> and I can confirm the hex digits that it is in fact blue and gold." What wasn't there that like audio kind of? Yeah, um, Yanny and Laurel. Yeah, that one. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, I remember that. <laughs> I just saw that. I was like, who cares? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I felt like after the whole dress debacle, it felt like everyone was looking for the next thing that yeah. everyone would interpret, yeah. di interpret differently. Interpret differently. And uh, I just didn't give a fuck. That was a nice meme that lasted yeah. three days. Yeah, I remember like the only, what, what were they called? The audio, of, I'm, I'm like- Audio illusion? Audio illusion, that's it. Yeah. It's actually, it's not really an audio illusion. It's just, did you ever, did you guys ever do like the uh, frequency test where you have to like test mm, your frequency? Mm, mm, mm. Uh. And um, like, I remember my I was- frequency. My frequency. I remember my frequency was like so fucking good as a kid. And I thought I'm never gonna lose this. <laughs> I, I don't know, like do you, as a kid, do you ever, did you ever get that point where a grown up told you that this is gonna happen to you when you grow up? Yeah. And as a kid, you're just like, that's never gonna happen to me. That's never gonna fucking happen yeah. to me. Yeah, and I remember the first time I felt old was the first time I did, the second time I did the, did a frequency test when I was like mid twenties. And mm. I'm just like, this isn't the same number as I remember <laughs> as a kid. The grown ups are right, I'm getting old. Where's wait, wait, so is the frequency test like the how much you can hear? Is that the one? Yeah, yeah so the like the better your hearing is, the higher the frequency yeah. that oh, you can hear. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Generally, yeah. when you get around 30, it starts to get a lot worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, doesn't like who the fuck needs to hear like the, the high kilohertz? Oh, I mean, I, I immediately <laughs> felt that like, cause you know, in like some arcades in Japan, no, they yeah, play I like have the that mosquito too, yeah. tone that like stops like uh, animals from coming into the Oh thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, every time we walk past like an arcade with like a bunch of friends yeah, and they'd be like, ah, oh, fuck. I'll be like, what? <laughs> I yeah. legitimately don't hear it's, it's, a, it's actually an advantage here, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, cause Sid Sydney Sydney can hear it and I yeah. can't anymore. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, right. Does it hurt? Apparently, yeah. apparently, it apparently it hurts. I'm just yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah, appara apparently anything. like in a lot of shops in Japan, they just play this like high, f I, I can't describe it. Actually. I think, isn't it to stop you can like hear teenagers? It? Well, it's to stop teenagers from like loitering. There's already people from loitering in front of the no, store. I've also heard it's to stop birds from flying. And cats. And cats from Yeah, can, can you hear it, Connor? Yeah, I can hear it. Okay, what does it sound like? I was gonna describe what just it was, and then I realized I've never heard it. I just realized I've never heard it. It's just an uncomfortable ring in your ears. It's like uncomfortable yeah. ring in yeah, your ears. It's just not, it doesn't particularly feel good. It kind of hurts. Okay. I don't know, it just hurts. <laughs> It looks that's like literally, it hurts. That's, okay. what, that's what it's designed to do, is to hurt. What, what, I, what I don't understand is, is that if they've just put this high frequency alarm or ring to stop birds, mosquitoes? It's animals I, and loitering. Oh, okay. Is the, is the I don't know thing. which one it's actually for. Might be is both, it for humans or animals? I don't know. Uh, apparently it's for both, because humans can hear it as well. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have picked a lower frequency then because it doesn't work. <laughs> if you've just got shit hearing, then you're just immune to it. Like, <laughs> well, it's mainly to stop like kids loitering. Okay, so yeah. that's the idea. Oh, okay, okay. That's a. Uh, that's like I've never been able to hear it though. Even even when I was a kid. Yeah, but you've been listening to like music for uh, yeah. Like, yeah. loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've, I've been to too many concerts ears. where my ears just got fucked. You're gonna be like 40 and be like, what? Why did you say to me, God? I'm still like that. Yeah, yeah, true. You are. Yeah, your hearing <laughs> is really bad. Yeah. No, but I talked about it on the podcast, remember? I was like, because when we went to go do the health checkup and I got an A for my hearing. And then I realized, <laughs> oh, I don't have bad hearing. I just don't listen. <laughs> you're just fucking dumb. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I just don't care about what you're saying sometimes, but I just shut it out. True, 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 true. That's <laughs> what it is, yeah. Keep Boys, on. have any fun plans for the summer? You know what I miss? Um, this is like the first time in my life where I've just not lived near a body of water. I like we're it's, surrounded by water. What do you mean? We're literally an island yeah. country. Well, no, but like we're we're, <laughs> we're in to we're in Tokyo, right? Yeah. And I think the closest thing is like Tokyo Bay. Yeah. Like part part of part of the summer experience for me is just going to the beach somewhere and just like having a, having a nice chill, you know, beer or something. And haven't been able to do that for the past two years, and I've really I've really missed that experience. I mean, I it guess. doesn't really matter because like the beaches have been closed. No, it, exactly. It, does, it doesn't matter anyway because yeah. I can't go to the beaches anyway. And yeah, like Okinawa's exactly. under lockdown, so I can't go there. Yeah. So I just I just doesn't feel like I've I've had the worst part of the summer experience, which is just the fucking blistering heat and haven't been able to just enjoy the nice. Trapped part in a concrete jungle, all right? Yeah, basically. Yeah. So what are you going to do for your summer then, Gon? I don't know. What can I do for the summer? Is there anything fun you can do in the summer that doesn't involve a beach or a pool or any body of water? Stay inside, play video games. <laughs> that sounds pretty, pretty fucking good. <laughs> that sounds good. That's what you do in winter though, right? Oh, both seasons. Both seasons. Both seasons. Both seasons. seasons. Because uh, another thing is that uh, we we get mosquitoes here mm. in Japan. We don't. Do we? Yeah, yeah, we do. Oh yes. yeah, we do. Yes, we do. Any. Uh, do you not get bitten? No. 
lucky. I never get bitten how, by mosquitoes. How do you not get bitten? I get eaten alive. Yeah. Maybe, my, maybe my blood doesn't taste good. I don't know. I've never had a mosquito. Apparently, bite. it does depend on your blood type. From okay, I, I think it does because I get bitten to shit yeah. whenever mosquitoes they don't go around. For me. I, ne- I I can be in an area where someone will get bitten a ton. I won't, I won't have any on me. I literally like. God, I wish that was me. Yeah, I literally laid outside on my balcony for like half an hour. Came inside and I had like ten bites on my back. Oh. I'm, I'm not even joking. Yeah, no, I'm, not, I'm exactly yeah. the same. Yeah. I, don't, I don't get by it, but I, yeah, I've never even considered it. I didn't yeah. even know they had them here. Yeah, because normally, normally the rule- Jimmy, I, I don't get bitten. Are you serious? You're serious. <laughs> I, I thought they didn't have them here, because I don't get bitten. Because that's, that's another reason I love British summers is that we don't, we just don't have any bugs that are annoying because- Wait, you guys don't have mosquitoes? No. no. Do, do, do you not remember when we were just chilling out in England in my garden? I just thought I got lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought like, oh, there's, 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 a, there's a stronger, there's a stronger blood type somewhere in the vicinity that they're going for. There's no mosquitoes in the UK. No, I'm just that guy. Cause like, I'm just that guy who, who like, I'm, I'm the bait, right? Cause yeah. if Is it that people- meme of like the, the blades falling down and the guy covering. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Everyone else, <laughs> everyone else at the party. Yeah, 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 cause like if people hang out with me in Thailand or Japan or whatever, they get bitten less because I'm there. I'm the bait. I I am what every mosquito goes towards, and I don't yeah. know why. Because God, the martyr. <laughs> yeah. Because in Thailand we have we have this saying where um, normally it's the mosquitoes go for the foreign people because it's the foreign people who have the sweet blood because the mosquitoes aren't used to their blood. So that was a but it's lie. it's <laughs> so that was the fucking lie. Oh, well, yeah. technically. I didn't grow up in Thailand, so maybe there's some kind of truth to it. But apparently, apparently, if you have never been beat, well, if mosquitoes beaten, are beaten by a mosquito, the mosquitoes fucking you. What's going on, huh? <laughs> Coming to our neighborhood? No, I, I've, I've never, I've never get bitten by mosquitoes. I'm so fucking. Do you, is it like a blood type thing? I don't even know apparently my blood. Apparently, it's a, like a blood type thing. It's also like a skin thing as well. Like mm-hmm. certain skin, like if you have like oily skin, you're more likely to get bitten. Shit like that. I don't know. There's lots of theories out there. I, I think it's literally just like. If you're unlucky, you're unlucky kind of thing. Beer. Pretty much. Beer. What? What's, oh what's... yeah, no. Apparently if you're you get uh you're more likely to get stung if you're drunk. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, Does apparently. That, <laughs> does that make the mosquitoes drunk? <laughs> I don't know. That's probably why. They're like, eh, my guys, come time for a sesh, right? Because I get drunk in the blood, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I've still never been bitten drinking, so I don't know what's going on. It's just like, lads, 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 lads. <laughs> is, there, is there a reason why mosquitoes go for people more or less? Yeah, it's like there's, there's like seven reasons. Yeah. But I don't know if yeah. any of that has actually been like scientifically confirmed. I feel it's just like, it yeah. might be like a lot of like coincidence. It's not tasty enough. What the fuck? Like, what am I like tasty? It might, might be what your blood type yeah. as well. So it's probably fuck? your blood type. What if I'm not yeah. tasty, bro? What? I want to be tasty. What? No, you're, no, you're you miss, don't want to be tasty. You don't want to be tasty. You're yeah. missing no, out on I want to be tasty. That's bullshit. Mosquitoes are fucking- They're, they're the worst. They're the fucking cunts for the fucking insect yeah, world, man. Yeah. No, no, nobody likes mosquitoes. People, they could be like the biggest animal lover in the world and they see a mosquito and like, fuck that little shit. Isn't like the mosquito, I think I read somewhere, isn't the mosquito like the only animal in like the food chain where if you got rid of them, it just wouldn't change the food chain? <laughs> I, I, I don't like, know if that's an urban legend, but I hope it's true. I think it's something like that. Cause I remember saying, cause like, I think I looked it up cause I was like, because in Australia, we have a shit ton of flies in, yeah, yeah. In, during the summer, right? Like it's, it's fucking horrible, especially if you're like out in the desert, yeah. nothing but flies, mm. it's, it's disgusting. And I think I just thought to myself like, man, I really just wish all flies just disappeared. <laughs> and then one of my friends was like, oh no, like flies are like really important to the food chain. You know, yeah. like there's a lot of animals that eat flies. True. And I thought like, yeah. is there an animal where if we just, it just disappeared one day, would the would the food chain still be intact? And I think uh, mosquitoes was one of them. Humans probably. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it. I, I, think, I think they'd be grateful actually yeah, yeah. if you fucked <laughs> off. <laughs> Sorry, I just called myself out there. <laughs> <laughs> we like to think of that. But you got me animals. Yeah, we had the problem all along. You got me there. We, we were the virus all along, right? <laughs> Sure that's <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I, I mean, I hope mosquitoes are fucking useless things because- I mean, they just fucking carry diseases, right? Like that's all they really do. Yeah, they, they all they do is like give malaria to people, right? Pretty much. There's probably <laughs> like one, other things. There's probably one like really obscure species of spider or something that could only feed on mosquitoes <laughs> that would die out. That's like know. integral to the food <laughs> chain. It's always like that. Isn't it? It's like, no, no, there's this one animal that specifically eats this thing. Yeah. How would you even eradicate mosquitoes? How would you even go about that? I don't know. I don't know. 
I mean, don't ask the Aussie. They fucked. They've they've had like enough problems trying to eradicate a certain yeah, a certain, oh, yeah. The like cane, the cane toads. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we had so we had the we have a lot of sugar cane in Australia. Uh, yeah. During like the 1800s, and then cane flies were introduced, which are these specific breed of flies that only eat cane sugar cane, and which completely wiped out our sugar cane. <laughs> And we're like, well, fuck, we gotta get rid of these flies because our, our food is getting fucked up. Yeah. And then someone was like, I've heard overseas, there was a specific type of toad called the cane toad that specifically only eats cane flies. Someone thought, oh, that's brilliant. That, that, that's gonna solve all of our problems. Let's, <laughs> let's introduce it. So they introduced it. Yeah, all the cane flies disappeared. But then somebody realized, shit, nothing eats cane toads. And they're literally poisonous and they're killing our native animals. Yeah. So now we just have a cane toad outbreak. <laughs> and you just can't get rid of and them. And we just right? can't get rid of them. Dude, it's like me playing chess. They're like, it's like they only thought one move ahead. They yeah. were like, they didn't, they didn't plan anything else. Like this feels like a vast oversight in like possible downsides. Yeah. There's no pros and cons lists. Someone was like, bro, my mate's got one. Bring it over. Yeah. Let's, yeah. let's test it out. Sounds like the beginning of like an always sunny skit, right? Yeah. <laughs> like you, you're just like, oh, let's bring over the cane toads. And you just hear, you just see like the fucking intro, intro title. <laughs> gang <laughs> tries to, uh, gang introduces cane toads to the, to the food chain. <laughs> But then again, Australia hasn't had very much luck with uh, animals. I mean, we, we had an emu war and we lost. Yeah, I, I'm like, well, what the fuck is that about? Like, I, I hear every Australian say that and I'm just like, that just sounds like a sick- The great one. emu wars. It's like the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. Like, they went to war against emus. And they lost. And we yeah. lost. How did you, okay, do you want to explain that? Dude, have you seen an emu? No. They're fucking terrifying. Can they kill you? Yeah. Okay. It's Australia. Everything can kill you. <laughs> should have known that one. Should yeah. Have, should have they, saw they, that one coming. What were, they, were they eating crops? Is that what they were ruining crops? Yeah, right? they were ruining crops. Uh, and and again, like they kind of just like overbred themselves yeah. to the point where there was just a shit ton of emus and just not enough space. So they started invading farmland. Obviously farmers got pissed off about it. So they mm -hmm. tried to get them out of it. But obviously it's one man versus a fucking two and a half meter bird. <laughs> that can literally just kick you in the chest and kill you. Okay. So uh, I think it, it went on for like a month or something. I, I don't know how long it was. It was a very short, it was, it, it was a very short they war. They wasted so much money and like ammunition yeah. and time. Ammunition. Yeah, they, yeah, they were shooting them. They were shooting oh, them. Seriously? They were yeah. like trying to gun them down. Yeah. But they could bet like- there But was... the emus were literally like the Spartans and they were like- <laughs> Yeah, cause they would- they... <laughs> they just, they, It was like, we we were like Xerxes army <laughs> and the emus were the Spartans. And they were like, oh shit. Because they would like, they, they weren't fighting them, but they were just, they just kept getting away. Yeah. It was like a Looney Tunes skin. Like they couldn't, they couldn't kill them. And it was like just even, like the Benny Hill theme for like a month straight. They, 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 they had to wait and ambush them. That's how they- Are you serious? Because yeah. they travel in flocks, right? Yeah. They, they, they go together in flocks and they would try and ambush them. And they're also extremely far. They can yeah. run like 60, yeah. 70 the, the k's an hour. The moment they started opening fire on them, they just ran away. And they would only kill like, you know, like- A couple of them maybe, yeah. yeah. But they'd wasted like a hundred grand in ammo. Like ammo isn't cheap. I, I feel like because we're so used to war, you think the ammo is like affordable. Yeah. yeah. Like ammo is super expensive. Yeah. So they were just wasting hundreds of thousands of dollars on bullets. Especially when and, that, um, that yeah. war was happening as well. Yeah. It's probably even more expensive. And, there, and then one day someone was like, yeah, it's not worth it, is it? No. Just wave the white they, flag yeah, and they then realized, they just retreated. And yeah, it's, it's embarrassing. Yeah. It was like so, a huge embarrassment. So what was government. the outcome of this war? The, the emus so won. The, the emus, emus won, won and yeah. they're just roaming the land now? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they just failed miserably. What is going on I'm in sure, Australia? I'm sure, I'm sure everyone who's like w watched internet videos has heard about this. Yeah. Thing. Like this is a very internet video topic. This sounds like an internet historian skit, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I'm yeah. surprised he hasn't made a video on <laughs> yeah. it yet, to be honest, it's great material. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it sounds like on the same level as like, you know, the 4chan Tumblr wars or something like that. It's just, <laughs> what do you, what do you an internet historian breakdown? <laughs> it, just, it just doesn't sound like it really happened. It just feels like the, the laziest strategy of killing them, you know? Like yeah, there were people like, who like no pe one... there were people who died as well during the Great Emu War. I just feel like nobody thought this plan through. Like surely there was a better way of, of getting them. You know what I mean? Like that's what pisses me off most. It was the laziest solution. They were like firing squad. And they were like, yeah, okay. Like nobody thought, is this really the best idea? You know? Well, yeah, yeah, they were probably because someone probably took one look at the fucking shotgun they had and they were like, we got this. <laughs> Easy double. They were like, need a fucking Hollywood breakdown on this, you know? Where, where, where's the Hollywood summer blockbuster of the Australian emu war? <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Hollywood, get it together. There's, there's a storyline there man somewhere. Versus man versus emu. <laughs> Should have carpet. Zack Snyder, come on. This is this is the next <laughs> Zack Snyder film. <laughs>
It's like a 300 spin off. <laughs> it's like Planet of the Apes from the perspective of the emus. <laughs> Planet of the emus. Emus together, strong. <laughs> I would watch it. Yeah, it's about, yeah, it's about the emus winning, perspective of the emus. Yeah. One of them voiced by uh, Raymond from Everyone Loves Raymond. Get back, Nicolas Cage. Come on. Yeah, Nicolas Cage is what is the is the main role, so, right, and the supporting role is Raymond. And he goes insane as the <laughs> emus win. <laughs> <laughs> there's a part where Raymond dies. You know, he gets shot and then Nicholas Cage, Nicolas is like Cage freaking loses out. his mind. Yeah, yeah, he's freaking out. He's like, I can't go on. <laughs> but he has to. Oh my god. And it ends with a climatic scene where they run what's at the, the What's the summer experience in Australia? Because like Australia is like Christmas. winter there, right? Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. <laughs> like I always hear about like it's summer is like winter in Australia, but like what is winter for Australia? Is it actually cold or yeah, do, you, it- do you do you re- like swap them? Do you just refer to winter like our summer is winter? No. Like July, is July winter? July is the coldest time of year in Australia. But is it winter? Is July winter? It depends where you are. So in Sydney, it right. doesn't get cold enough to snow. But if you drive for like two but, hours uh, into Canberra, it snows like a motherfucker. I've been always under the impression no matter the temperature that winter is the time of year. Like winter is always November to January. Oh, sorry, right. sorry, November to February. February. Yeah. I guess. That, like, that is winter. Is it the same in Australia where you would refer to that period as winter? No, that's summer. <laughs> but everyone else around that's you the is hottest, like- The hottest time of the, the, the hottest day of any year is always uh, New Year's Eve. But I always thought that it was like, okay, no matter what country you're in, this is winter. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought as well. is winter. Doesn't matter the, the temperature. What are you talking about? <laughs> because I Winter always- is the coldest time of year. For us, that's May to August. Yeah, I know. I just thought that winter as a concept was a time period, not the season. No, it's definitely a season for us. Mm. Because like, at least from my memory, the hottest <laughs> day of any year is always the last day of the year. Right. So I, I used to, our family always used to go to that one mate's place who had that giant swimming pool in his backyard because you're in that pool till about two in the morning because <laughs> it's so fucking hot. I remember right. the hottest experience I've ever had in my life. It was New Year's Eve. Yeah. And it was 45 degrees. <clears throat> All right. right. Obviously 45 degrees, everyone's in the pool. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. after the sun went down, it was like 41 degrees. Yeah. And it was so hot that I remember I went home like that morning, it was like 5 a.m. And the fridge had just exploded. <laughs> from the heat. Like the fridge just stopped working. Bro. The fridge just like, all right guys, I'm out. Yeah. Have a nice day. Fridge just like, <laughs> it's like I, happy I, new year lads. <laughs> my final message to the world. <laughs> yeah, so I remember my parents got super pissed off because they just like, literally first day of the year, they went to the electronics store and bought a new fridge because it just, it just got busted from the heat. Well, fridge is one of those appliances though that I, I'd be excited to get a new one. I'd be like, wow, we can really mix it up with the fridge this time. Well, yeah, but like, you know, I think it's good when you can buy a fridge on your own accord, right? I disagree. I prefer it when my appliances break. (laughs) Cause then I'm like, oh, I have to spend money. Oh, there's no Oh, what was me? I guess I have to get the most expensive one. Jeez. (laughs) But when you're upgrading, you're like, oh fuck. I've I've got a perfectly good one. Oh, I don't really need. (laughs) Uh, You start start off with a cockroach fridge. Yeah, a washing yeah. machine or whatever, or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, because if it's a good appliance- like Your standard like- of an upgrade is quite low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, we're, we're going, going, from, it's, it's we're going up- from cockroaches to no cockroaches, It's all uphill from there. There are some appliances where I'm like, it does, it literally doesn't need anything fancy. Like a microwave yeah. does not need to be fancy. No, a microwave no. just heats, heat, heat thing up good. Thank you. It literally I- vibrates more water molecules. Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't it's need- Literally, how would you do you that know, differently? Like, because I, I'm using Joey's old one. Mm. Yeah. Um, Cause Joey just gave me his one. Cause he wanted to get an, uh, we an, an oven. oven. Microwave oven. Microwave yeah. oven, which I, I don't believe in. I think that's nonsense. Yeah, I got, I got the kettle from Joey. Cause when, when, when did Joey give you the microwave? Was it when you moved it? Why are you guys like ha- taking my hand me now? <laughs> it's not because, Bro, because you were like, do you want a microwave? And I was like, sure. Why cause, I, cause, yeah. Cause I remember when, cause this was literally in the first week when we moved here yeah. and we were just like settling in whatever. And uh, you were just like, oh, do you want a kettle? We got a, you, you can have a free kettle. Yeah, and but, I, and I was, they, were, they were making it out to be like a gift. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. fuck off, this is not a gift. <laughs> yeah, and this I was, is not a gift. I, I remember thinking at the time, oh my God, <laughs> such good mate he is. He's just, he's just helping me like, he just helped me, give me, uh, helping me like decorate the house I, and give me appliances. I, I was using those older sibling skills. Yeah, because yeah. like, I remember it was like Aki was like, "Do you want, do you want to just take the microwave?" I was like, "Why, why would I? Why were you saying that? Why would I just take the microwave?" And they're like, 
Oh, we just need uh, like a gift, and I'm like, it's not yeah. a fucking gift. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just want a new one. Yeah, I'll take it, but don't don't preface that it's a gift. No, because we were gonna buy an oven. <laughs> yeah, you wanted yeah, to, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we realized, oh, it's a, it's not just an oven; it's a microwave yeah, oven. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I remember that Aki was like, it's a gift. I'm like, it's not a gift. Like, cause like it's now, not a gift. Because now, now living in Japan, I know getting rid of appliances is a fucking oh, nightmare. It's the worst. It's a fucking nightmare. So I'm just like. That motherfucker just wanted to get rid of his appliances that he wanted to replace. You, and he framed it as a fucking gift. Yeah. So the process like, welcome to Japan. Uh, here's, here's, here's the kettle I don't use again. Here you go, man. I'm such a good mate. Yeah. I'm giving you, I'm literally giving you free you're stuff. British. <laughs> you, you, you like kettles, right? There you go. I do, I do. But yeah. I actually don't use my kettle anymore. I use the, the hot hot pot thing. Ooh. Like thermos pot, whatever it's called. Thermo pot? Whatever, the, where you put like two liters of water in a pot and it keeps it boiling the whole day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more energy efficient. Ooh. Fancy. But yeah, in Japan, if you want to get rid of your appliances, this is something that you should definitely be aware of. Oh, it's the worst. Um, because if it's over, like a, if it's a big appliance, mm -hmm. so like I think a hairdryer or bigger is considered as a big appliance, right? Yeah. You have to call so up- So literally all appliances. So literally any appliance. You have to call up the local government mm -hmm. in your area and tell mm -hmm. them you want to get rid of it. And then you schedule it, right? I, I actually just finished doing that the other day because we had to get rid of our old dining table and our old like cabinet that had all of our dishes in it. Cause- yeah. Wait, why didn't your old moving company do it? Or your moving company do it? Uh, we just kind of forgot, eh? Oh. Yeah, we just kind of, because I thought I originally wanted to, I, I originally had the old kitchen table that we had yeah. on my balcony, because I thought, oh, I could use this if I'm like barbecuing or doing something outside and I need something to like place it on. Yeah. But then, I kind of didn't use it. It got hit in the rain. I forgot to put like a lacquer on it. So it just started rotting and I was like, all right, <laughs> need to get rid of this now. And it yeah. was, oh my God. Dining I tables do that if you put them outside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, uh, but it's, it's cool though, because in my area that you can like register it through like line. Oh, that's cool. But the, <laughs> the sucky thing is had to wait about, I don't know, four weeks <laughs> to throw it out. Cause they were like, oh, you have to schedule it ahead of time. And I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe it's, like, weeks to throw maybe it's like, maybe it's like, you know, next week or like this weekend or something, you know, whatever. It's, it's like, insane. so uh, yeah, uh, the next open slot is uh, 40 days from now. And you have to give them the precise measurements of the thing yeah, as well, which is, I mean, it's, it's obviously, I understand why, but it's one of the things where it's like, this is a hassle that I've never had to do in the UK before. Yeah. So why uh, am I measuring something that I'm about to throw out? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't make, it's a bit, it's a bit yeah. ass backwards. Yeah, yeah I, made, I made sure the moving company that I've hired at the moment for my place, I'm mm. like, you throw things away, right? Mm. You, you throw them away? Yeah. Good thing so about like, the like things like fridges or like washing machines and stuff like that is that like there's usually a service where when they bring the new one, they take away the old yeah, one. Yeah, that's true, that's yeah. true. They'll like we that. just got a new washing machine. <clears throat> and, and they take away the old and one. And they take yeah. away the old, I was like, oh, thank God. Yeah. Yeah, that's why, you know, whoever sold you the fucking cockroach yeah, they fuck fridge, they were just like, man, they fucking, they were like, 500 IQ. Yeah. We got him to pay for this shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got that, him to pay no, for that, this. I got scammed. That yeah, was yeah. a scam. You, you got, you got it straight up. That was like a scam. First time in Japan, huh? <laughs> I, got a, I got a gift. What a warm, <laughs> welcome, what a, to, welcome to Japan. Yeah, what a warm <laughs> greeting to a foreign country. <laughs> But yeah, no, I made sure the moving company was like, you, you throw things away, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, great. Everything needs to go. Every Get rid of everything. I'm literally throwing away like nearly everything I own. Cause I'm like, it's it's all awful. It's time for an upgrade. Cause yeah. I'm like, yeah. Cause my bed was like 200 bucks for like mm. the bed and the mattress. It's fucking terrible. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, uh, I'm, I'm sure like, you know, prisoners in uh, isolation get better beds than what I've got. So <laughs> I was like, you know, I'm get rid of it. They get, yeah, an, they get a whole padded room. But it's an absolute, <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare, right? Cause yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get the whole soundproofing yeah, too. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, cause if you want to do it myself, I have to disassemble the bed mm. and then like put it down yeah. into the thing, schedule when they're going to come get it. And then kind of like schedule getting a new bed myself mm. in between the day I'm throwing it out. It's a real nightmare. Yeah, yeah, um, that was that was a nightmare for us. And that's why so, like when we moved into our new place, cause we threw the bed, our old bed away. Yeah. yeah. We, when we were waiting for the new bed, we had to sleep on like a fucking blow up mattress for like a week. Oh wow. Just because the timing was off. Yeah. But like, yeah, cause I'm thinking of like get rid of my desk in my place. Oh, cause you're right. thinking about getting in the standing I'm desk about we to have get in the this standing office. Desks here, yeah. But I'm just dreading having to like schedule a fo I have to wait another month to like throw this thing out and then I have to take it down myself and yeah. disassemble yeah. it. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. it sucks. Please, please make it better. You can get a service, right? 
That's why I'm thinking. I'm just not gonna like. I'm just gonna pay the money. Just get someone to just come and get rid of. Honestly, because it takes some. If you want to get rid of your appliances, it's probably gonna take like all day just to sort out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you can yeah. make, you know, it's probably what an hour to disassemble. Then you gotta fuck around with the calling the people, yeah. taking it down, figuring out when you gotta do all that stuff. Like it's probably what three hours of work. Yeah, you could probably make more than the money it would cost to do that. Yeah, if you just yeah. Work. So it's like definitely. I would rather because I also don't. It's sometimes it's not even the money. It's like, I don't want to deal with this stress. Mm. Like this is a stressful thing that I don't like dealing with. Yeah. And so I will pay a premium to not have to do that. Not only that, but like I have to deal with it in this weather Yeah. as yeah. well. It's like, fuck yeah. that. Disassembling that dining I, table in this heat yeah. was hell. I like fixing my electronics yeah. and like opening them up and doing that stuff. Cause I mm -hmm. enjoy that, but I don't enjoy disassembling furniture and, and desks. And I don't stuff. think anyone does. Yeah, yeah. I like assembling furniture. Well, some, I don't like disassembling furniture. Dude, some people are like, like so good with that stuff and they, they enjoy it. They're just yeah. like, zoom, 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 zoom. No, but it it like disassembling that. furniture is like the most depressing thing in the world. Yeah. Cause like, at least if you're assembling furniture, you have something to look forward yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. have the final product. Yeah. What are you looking forward to after disassembling the furniture? Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why in the UK, I used to just put it on like websites and I'd be like, who wants it for free? I'm just, just come. Oh yeah, it. yeah. We, d we used the service for that when we moved to get rid of our couch. Yeah, I'm like, who wants it? We just yeah. like, we just, you, there's a website where you can just like, just put it up yeah. for like zero yen. And yeah. It's like, you yeah. wanna come and get it? And some dude came to get it. Yeah, as long as you days. take it away, you deal with it, you yeah. can have it. That's what I did in the UK with all the stuff. Like my, I had like a budget gaming chair mm. that was just broken. And yeah. I was like, oh, if someone wants it, you can have it. It's it's kind of jank, it still works, but it's, it's not great. And then someone just came. Yeah. Like some Russian guy turned up to my door. And was like, my, <laughs> my son will love this chair. And I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> yeah, I just I just don't want to do anything in this heat. Like, I, if if I'm not inside in an air conditioned place, then I just don't want to be there. Like, me and Sydney right. tried to like schedule a date the other day where we just go out and do something, and mm. then we realized we, we just don't want to fucking do anything outside. Let's yeah. just try and find something inside because it's literally impossible to do anything. And especially now with inside activities kind of on lockdown, it's really hard to find anything right now. Yeah, exactly. True. True. Amen to that. Yeah. <laughs> you know who else hates the summer heat? Our patrons. Ooh. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Actually, if our patrons were here, they would definitely- They hate would hate it. summer heat. Yeah. If, if you're British, you I don't know if you hate summer or not. I can't I, stand I, this. I didn't until I moved outside and now I hate the summer. <laughs> not as much as the winter though. Yeah. Winter, winter sucks. Doesn't that we have depressing. to record trash taste with these blasting lights on us. Yeah. I was sweating a lot this episode because we didn't turn on the air conditioning in this fucking heat. So as, if as I, you were talking uh, earlier, I could literally see a giant bead of it's sweat. Because like you, you, I've got the fucking sun staring at me and we don't even <laughs> fucking have the AC the on. Pri the price that we, you know, we, we you can't say that we don't care about you guys. Maiden, Maiden we are gave suffering. me the Evian facial spray, which I actually accepted. And I realized that it did nothing. How the tables have turned. <laughs> we suffer to make good content for you guys. So if you'd like to support our suffering, then make sure to go over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash trash taste. Also follow us on Twitter, send us the memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. Yeah, and I guess that's this episode, this summary themed episode of Trash Taste, I suppose. Was it summary themed? <laughs> well, you're dressed for the occasion. I, I you know. Wow, you're so course. dressed well for the occasion. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like start a barbecue after this, right? <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Very dad of you. Yes, but uh, anyway, that's been this episode of Trash Taste. Hope you enjoy your summer and we'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.